Hello, everybody. Dark side, fast fuck here. And Rihanna. Uh, th 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 thank you, sweetie. Uh, here to bring you the intro to the Sons of Kojima podcast, episode seventy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Today we've got this fucking panel of sociopathic motherfuckers. Stop uh, We're gonna we're gonna start with uh. A fucking guy that knows everything about me, even stuff that I don't even know. Mr. Nomad. Hey, what's up? Then we've also got this, I, I, I've i never seen this guy before. Who who the fuck is Ghost Dragon? Hey, what's going on? What a, what a <laughs> bitch. And then we've also got this uh, this 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 lame artist that I don't I don't know what the fuck he's doing. Uh, Torres. Oh, oh I guess. Good it... job, Torres. <laughs> you killed him. Oh, well, I guess he really is dead. He doesn't good know how to riddance. unmute himself. And then we've also got that guy that likes to rant about everything, Kaba Subu. Hey, Phil, love life, bitch. I will never love life because I can't get any underwear time. And then we've got that guy that wants to take an airstrike to my house, Mr. Leo King. Better hide your wife, fools. <laughs> then we've also got that guy that likes to dump snow everywhere except the lovely Seattle because I need my Seattle air, Mr. Moogle. What up? And then we've also got that guy that I banned from my life, Fred Fox. Damn, so Kaz back at it again with those live streams. <laughs> and now for our special guest, this the new uh, sociopath that I don't know who, what the fuck other to say that she's uh she's from Australia. Sh Shaden Fraulein, I think it's pronounced. I don't fucking know. Thank you, Phil. And for the last time, stop asking me to give you underwear time. It's not going to happen. <laughs> Wait, what? what's going on here, old man? Leanna, I can explain. I completely Leanna support this I idea. Have boobs and you don't. This is great. This is a great idea. And then I can go spend more time with the pee pee dad. <laughs> oh, come on. I need underwear time somehow. Thank you for the <laughs> shot. And I'm so excited. I'm free. Stop posting these songs. I'm no, wait, excited. Leanna. Minor. So hello everybody, welcome to the 70th, 70, 70 editions of the, uh, the SoCast, the uh, Sons of Kojima podcast in long form. And uh, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in, checking us out wherever you are, if you're on YouTube, hello from the future, or uh, actually hello from the past. <laughs> and uh, for those of you that are, uh, are here live, hello. It's funny, uh, I just want to congratulate everybody here I'm looking at the uh, the number and it actually looks like we are beating Phil in uh, in attendance so this is pretty cool this happens pretty often so it's cause for celebration so we'll all give ourselves a round of applause I guess this is a, this is a great thing Fantastic. Break out the Doritos and Fanta. one person all right there we go so a celebration, of course, is the seventieth. You know, nice round numbers. I'm one for numbers, but uh, all right. As uh, as was stated by Mr. Phil, thank you for the introductions, Phil. We have our favoriteest person in the whole wide world finally coming to talk with us. We finally got it set up. We finally get to meet the person behind the username. We get to know Shaden Fraulein. The first time I've ever got the name correct. <laughs> you did really well. <laughs> Shaden, thank you so much for coming to talk with us, for coming to hang out with us. This is a long time coming. I'm, I'm just so happy to have you here with us. Oh, my God. No, the th thank you for having me on. I'm a little nervous, <laughs> as I've said, but I am absolutely thrilled to be here. I, it, thank you for having me. And um, I'm going to try and not make a dick of myself tonight, but we'll see. I'm just going to kind of uh, 
ask you one question. There's just one thing yes. I got to know before we get into the normal antics. How in the hell did you even find us? Because you're like the most normal down to earth person <laughs> ever and we're a bunch of knuckleheads. How the fuck did you even find us? I wouldn't really call me normal, but um, uh, basically I think there's a lot of spare time when you've got a kid who's in hospital. Um, I think I found This Is How You Don't Play first became slightly fascinated with the character that is Dark Side Phil, like infuriating to watch, but you can't stop. It's a train wreck in slow motion, what can you do? Um, and then sort of, I think it was just one of the suggested vids was was the Sons of Kojima um, podcast, like sort of, and I listened to one, I laughed so hard that I got told off by one of the nurses in there. Um, and I've just been hooked ever since. So you guys got me through, kept me sane through nights that otherwise would have just been, it's quite lonely when you're a single mom. You've got a very sick kid. Um, you know, you can spend two, three weeks at a time in hospital and you get a bit sick of watching Spongebob on the hospital TV with the kid and bring my laptop in and finding you guys was a godsend. There was one point, I forget exactly, it was something to do with Shay. I laughed so hard, I fell backwards in the chair I was sitting in. Get out of here. <laughs> no, no, this is serious. <laughs> this is embarrassing, but this is serious. Kind of got stuck because the chair got wedged. You know how those big hospital beds? So the chair was stuck. I am stuck kind of like in a V position between the two. And two nurses had to kind of hoist me out of it. I'm only like, I'm only 58 kilos, but I managed to wedge myself in there so well. well so I've, I've been hooked ever since. <laughs> well, that all means so much to us. I mean, like, you know, I, I told you before, you know, we, we all got the chance to meet before this. But, um, you know, we just do the show we're just kind of fucking around. And uh, to know that um, that it can benefit people in any sort of meaningful way um, is really cool. And, and uh, in a weird way, like we're grateful to, you know, have have had you stumble upon us and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, it all it all sort of comes together. You're here with us now. We're, and again, we're just we're really excited. We were just as excited, if not more. Uh, then you said do were to meet us, then we were to meet you. We were so excited. So this is I all... I think mine tops. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you guys would want to talk to me full stop. I'm just some weirdo from Australia, but um, I, I'm i thrilled to be here. <laughs> I can't even tell you. Oh, look, Mr. Blake rolls in. Perfect timing. Oh, no. Ah! Check out some soap. Let the shoe talk. <laughs> This is the last person I wanted on the fucking podcast when this was going on. Yeah. All right, listen, listen. <laughs> I just got my food. I'm not happy. Is it is it okay. pizza hut pizza again? <laughs> I just got my food. I'm not happy. Where'd you go, McDonald's? <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> you probably went to Pizza Hut. Uh, no, no, no. I'm not happy. I'm I'm happy about the food I got. I went to uh, Taco Cabana to get something else for other people. Let me tell you what. I waited a dang old 16 minutes outside of Taco Cabana for my goddamn food, all right? Uh-huh. Well, I good thing you're one... on a podcast so you can air these grievances. I, you know, I know one of them is watching, so put them on notice. <laughs> <laughs> all right, listen. Uh, listen, uh, if, you, if you work for Taco Cabana, I don't like you. Uh, other than that, hey, what's up? Perfect. All right, so uh, we were just getting all <laughs> we were just getting all mushy with Shadden, but uh, now's a good time. That's a great segue, Blake. That's fantastic. Now we can break off and do some other uh, fantastic stuff. So why not? Wait, people were getting mushy with me. Yes. This is how Phil gets underwear time with Leanna, I'm sure, because I didn't even notice it. <laughs> Oh, oh, come no. on! Don't give away my <laughs> secrets. I'm did sorry. you say mushy or did you say money? Because that's the key to my heart. <laughs> Oh, oh God. Getting oh. money with Leanna, right? <laughs> <laughs> Leanna, I've got something to tell you. We're uh, we're out of money. Wait, what? <laughs> I uh, I I I'm using the rest to uh, pay off the house. You mean those stupid kids ran out of fucking money? Yeah, the uh, by uh. 
my uh, view, I mean, uh, the, the, the detractors, they're uh, causing me to lose a lot more money. Make okay? me a Patreon. I, 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 I'm not sure it works that way, okay? I'll put naked pictures out for money on Patreon. <laughs> There's only like three people that would actually want to see that, okay? Now, the uh, Patreon would be to stop those pictures being released. Sure. You're damn right, I'm putting them on his Twitter. <laughs> I can get into his Twitter when he's asleep. Wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna report that for child pornography. Wait, I leave it on at night. I always close out of it. That's interesting. What I can do is I can put some pictures of me on his phone and call the police. You know what? Get no, in trouble. You know what? You know what? I, I, you might say no to underwear time, but I'm saying no to your Twitter time. Okay. <laughs> we all know what yes, you say lady. yes to, though, Phil. It's yes to bathroom time, right? She touched me. I'm not cleaning that <laughs> shit up again. Wait, I touched you. What are you talking about? I might have brushed up against you when I reached for your wallet, but that's as far as it goes. You were you 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 were within centimeters of me, okay? That's You've only enough. got centimeters. I've felt it through the quilt. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. This is getting too real. <laughs> So, all right, let's get into this. Why not start off with some viewer-submitted topics? We, Dude, I was surprised. Like, every week I'm surprised how many fucking topics we get and stuff like that. So it is only right that we try to knock uh, enough of them, you know, as much of them as we can. So uh, let's get into this. First of all, <laughs> let's go for something timely. How about... Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, DSP versus Alpha Omega Sin. You knew it would be brought up, submitted by Tick. Let's throw it out to you guys. I talk enough as it is. Thoughts and opinions on DSP versus Alpha Omega Sin. This literally happened, like, as soon as we finished the podcast, so great timing for that. It was about I... a minute after the podcast finished. <laughs> it yeah. down. Phil got completely wrecked. It was the greatest thing. Hmm. I he wrecked by himself. Like he made, he did more damage to his own image, like tenfold, yeah. than Alpha Omega Sin did in that like two seconds of mentioning his name. Yeah, well, Alpha Omega Sin didn't say he didn't really say that he rage quit. He just said that people act like DSP when mm -hmm. they rage quit. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know where uh, got that from. Granted, I totally wanted that sanctioned boxing match between the two, though. Oh. I think it's important. I'd watch, oh, sorry, go ahead. Just, it, I'd watch that, but it would be just horrifying. Oh, yeah, it'd be totally one-sided. <laughs> yeah. I think it's seconds. important to just be clear on kind of what was said, because there's a little bit of confusion as to, like, what did Phil actually react to and stuff like that. So uh, Alpha Omega Sin was doing a video on Street Fighter V. He was talking about how um, there are people that will rage quit to their benefit because then a loss doesn't get recorded um, and generally speaking before he kind of set up that point that's basically the way he was segueing into that point which is to say that it benefits people um, he was just talking about people like types of people players excuses. right yeah. so he talked about oh and then you'll go all dark side Phil and start crying and making excuses and then rage quit so if you wanted to I have to be honest here. I can see the two interpretations that are going around right now. There's there's pretty much two. Um, one is that he was just sort of describing rage quitters and accused Phil of rage quitting and therefore he was wrong. And there's that he was just talking generally about uh, people that complain, use DSP as an example of someone who complains, but then sort of poorly worded or just put them together too closely without making a distinction that they're in addition are people that rage quit so I have to be completely honest with you and you guys know that we try to be fair as much as we can and you know um, I think it is fair to interpret that as he was accusing Phil of being synonymous with rage quitting um, and Again, being fair, that isn't exactly true. Phil isn't known for rage quitting fighting games. Now, he'll uh, complain a lot in them, but he won't rage quit them like, for example, Low Tier God, who that's like 
what he's known for is backing out into the menu before people get their win because he feel that they don't deserve it or they weren't worthy or they cheated or whatever else like that. And then he'll file complaints against them and shit like that. So that's obviously a better example of it. So if you're interpreting it as Alpha Omega Sin blatantly and wrongly accused Phil of being like a perfect example of people that rage quit fighting games because they're upset that is valid and again if that's what he was going for he was incorrect so i just want to make that clear because i yeah. i've seen some people say like oh you guys are just sucking alpha omega's dick because he said something against phil now i just want to make that clear like you know if if that's what he was going for he was not correct but like shaden said everything after that phil basically buried himself I, I, I lean towards what you're saying as well, Fred. You can see, like I watch back the Alpha Omega Sin clip, you can see he's sort of mushing the two issues together, like rage quitting and then people who make excuses for their poor performance. Now, Phil is really guilty of one, and I have to say I don't think he's very guilty at all of the other one, mm -hmm. leading into a bigger problem. Phil is now the boy who cried wolf. He has every other thing that he's done. So when, and I think this is why Phil went so ballistic um, after being called what he perceived a rage quitter. Right. It's the one thing he doesn't really do. And there's, there's basically everything else he's criticized for. There's sort of a kernel of truth in it. So this one, I think he genuinely felt wronged because there wasn't, he's rage quit maybe twice. Right. And for somebody who plays fighting games, that's actually pretty damn good. So finally he's got something, oh, he was completely in the right, but it's a bit too late, mate, because, <laughs> you know, like, no one's going to listen to you now, because you've made these complaints about things that were true. Yeah. And I think that you're completely right, is that he finally found his opportunity to stand up for himself. Oh, I finally yeah. got the one that they're factually incorrect about, and I can prove it. But the way that he went about it, is was very threatening was very aggressive yeah. you know like oh i'm gonna tear your i'm gonna tear you a new one when i get my hands on you um you're gonna get roasted um like all these like very like he he over he his, sorry go ahead he didn't pick his battle very well not only that, but he overrepresented his ability to fucking take people on. He overrepresented the consequences that you get by tussling with Phil. He made it seem as though if you mention his name, that's a death wish, and I'm going to fucking, you know what I mean? Like, really made it seem as though it was going to be uh, very, like, harmful to you to dare talk shit about Phil, you know? Not to yeah. mention there was that whole situation also where, you know, the whole video of him rage quitting on April Fool's came up and he said, like, well, that was on April Fool's Day. That doesn't oh, count. And, 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 you know, who's going to believe you with that? I mean, after all the lies you put, like, who's going to believe that it was just an April Fool's joke? And that's his problem. He's he's the boy who cried wolf. He's... He's made up so much in the past to, to defend himself against. If he'd just, you know, copped to a lot of the things he'd done wrong when he was given criticism, um, obviously he'd be a very different Dark Side Phil today and we probably wouldn't be talking about it. But, yeah, I'd see that this is the one that he feels slighted the most. Because, I mean, he's rage quit other games, but within fighting games he has, obviously, his sense of... Well, his sense of self-identity is almost kind of wrapped up in his ability in fighting games mm -hmm. so finally he had something that this was like you said this was 100 percent. i've got proof he was wrong i'm right but he, yeah he went at it like and like oh like a nuclear meltdown man he he yeah he just flew off the handle and yeah that didn't help <laughs> so going after that for a while um, he's going back and forth on Twitter talking about, so this is where it sort of devolved was, um, Alpha Omega Sin heard this stream, responded to Phil, Phil then tried to misrepresent what he was actually saying and said, no, I didn't actually say that. Alpha Omega Sin acknowledges that he did actually hear this. And, uh, then Alpha Omega Sin interprets, uh, Phil's words that he was 
making physical threats, like I'm going to get my hands on you and stuff like that, and mm. offers for Phil and him to square up. And as you guys know at this podcast here, we highly support squaring up. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Square up! <laughs> and uh, so we were very uh, supportive of this, of this initiative to, uh, to square up, to settle it like gentlemen. Um, Phil, of course, did not accept this in any way, shape, or form. He repeatedly said that he doesn't accept it. And uh, they just sort of bickered back and forth. Phil demanded an apology. And Alpha Omega Sin was not interested in doing this. Eventually, after multiple tweets, forum posts, he made another video. He made sure to put Alpha Omega Sin in the title, tags. Goodness, all these tags that he did, just ridiculous. Wiza would be pulling his hair out at the type of tags that uh, Mr. Phil used there. Shout out to Wiza. But the video in itself was a bit of a stepping back. He stepped back quite far off of these type of uh, threats, these type of, oh, I'm going to get my hands on you and yada, yada, yada. Um, he talked about how all he wants now is an apology. He's not going to, he's not going to fight. There's no way, no fist fights, but he really wants that apology. And Ultimately, that was it. He said that if if someone says something about me and they're legitimate, if they're not us, basically, because he doesn't consider us to be legitimate, even though we routinely beat him in live viewers um, when we do our show. But he wants to mm -hmm. make sure that this person that says anything about him has a following. He wants to make sure that this person uh, would be able to get some clicks for him, and he will he will take them on. He will respond to them if they uh, if they dare say something that is not accurate about him so that's his new initiative his new initiative he's not going to be the whipping boy anymore we've awoken a sleeping uh dragon and if somebody says something dragon. about him a very sleepy dragon if uh if somebody says something about him and he doesn't agree with it and they have some sort of uh some sort of name some sort of uh following he's going to be hitting them up with the drama video so you to hit him up with a boss and gloves <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and as Eddie points out, uh oh, did we even I don't even think we covered the review tech stuff. Uh DSP has ignored re uh review tech's HTC Vive uh video where he talks about Phil a bit and actually somebody pointed that out to him and he said that he doesn't have time for that kind of stuff. So I don't know, I guess I guess review tech is immune. He's you know, hoping that PewDiePie says something about him or something. See, I'm not hundred percent sure what happened there. The only takeaway from that is the word nipples that just comes up in my mind. I don't know why. <laughs> I, I, there, was a, there was a tweet from Phil saying something about, um, what happened there? <laughs> Does anybody why, else why know? Why did he mention nipples? Does anybody else know? I've been talking a lot. I don't I, know. I think he was arguing with him on Twitter, I'm pretty damn sure. Was he not? I think Like he was so, arguing with him why. on Twitter, and then he blocked all the people. Up? Oh, I remember, because oh, yeah. he was calling it nipple born or something. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm pretty damn positive. That's, that's yeah. what I remember. And then he blocked everyone that was associated with the whole thing. Was, I thought that was kind of funny. Because he said he that's didn't want to see dudes' nipples or something like that. I didn't I mean, want to I... see either of their nipples. I was terrified. It was. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. It's pretty fucking <laughs> stupid that uh, Review Tech USA or Rich even even did that in the first place. <laughs> like to block someone over a joke. Like, come on, man. <laughs> Like, you're no better in this situation. Phil thought he got hacked or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope he got hacked because he's just really going over overboard here. Um, yeah, I mean, essentially, Rich was trying to joke around with him, which, uh, you know, don't do that with Phil. This is his work Twitter. You know, he doesn't want any of those shenanigans. Oh, yes. Oh, the Lord. Work Twitter. But, you know, he'll call the Alpha Omega. <laughs> he'll call Alpha Omega Sin a moron and stuff on his work Twitter. So, uh, oh, you know. Twitter. But uh, yeah, don't come around here with that with that bullshit on his work Twitter. Oh, but uh, so professional yeah. his work Twitter, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's, you yeah, know. Maybe it's a job interview. Man, you're a <laughs> fucking idiot. It's a professional a Twitter, video. okay? I don't <laughs> want any fucking morons getting into arguments with me, okay? 
<laughs> God damn it. Oh, great. Huh. It's Pascal. Oh, uh, look. It's this motherfucker. It's Pascal. <laughs> Beat your ass. Beat your ass. Oh, All right. Oh, well, shit. You know, again, you know, square up. Yeah, here at the Sons of Kojima <laughs> podcast, we highly <laughs> endorse squaring up, so uh, you guys can settle that. I have kangaroos my way, so I'll bring them. I'll go. I'll, I'll, I'll go. I'll go back down to where I used to live, and I'll we'll square up. Yeah, come on back. To, come on back to the mean streets of St. Charles. We'll fucking take it out. <laughs> you know what though? For the people at home, this is an actual. This is an actual thing here. Fazzy and Pask have once lived very close to each other, and this could possibly be a thing. Yeah, they're long lost lovers. A, a thing like a, ooh. An actual ability for them to square up. Get them on jersey. Oh, okay. I had a different thing in mind. Underwear time. Nice. <laughs> but I don't want to do underwear time with a guy. <laughs> it's all the same. In the what? Dark. You should try it. I, you know, you, you should be open to new things. Like, you know, I'm open to new guys and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to go through with this. Well. Good boy. I, wa I want to do this just about as much as I want to continue playing. I mean, wait, what? Get in your work car and go over there. All I have is a BMW. That's not a work car. That's a luxury <laughs> car. <laughs> so, yeah, that's Look a thing. This I'm, way. Oh. I'm so hoping like this can be a thing. Like with uh, underwear time with Phil in regards to the guys, are you saying he's going to get an atomic wedgie then? Oh, Lord. Is he not? Already. He's gonna be hanging from the fucking flagpole. Uh, come on, nobody said that a wedgie like that would cause me to hang from something. <laughs> fucking idiots. Well, it's underwear time, technically. I want others' underwear, though. <laughs> Not it'll, my own. You're right. It'll remind him of his high school days. Mm-hmm. So I think that basically covers the review tech thing. Uh, essentially, um, tried to joke around with Phil. Phil reacted to it poorly, blocked him. Also blocked Monday and Matt when he was trying to comment on the situation. Um, and that about does it. I mean, Phil Phil's not uh, willing to have any sort of beneficial relationships for himself. He just wants to burn the bridge with anyone who uh, doesn't play completely by his rules. So. There you go. Let's see what else we've got. We go ahead, Mr. Nomad. I'm sorry. Oh, I I think he also uh oh, I forgot how long it was, how long ago it was, but uh he said that uh he, he didn't go on Wings' podcast because they roasted him. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me try to find that actually. Uh I wasn't expecting didn't that. You know they so. say was oh he hasn't turned up and then that was pretty much uh, maybe a little yeah. bit further than that. Yeah, he was still sick. Yeah, I remember he was like makes... drunk that night. Oh, you know, it's going badly if he goes back on the gin. No, yeah, I just, like... I find with Phil, somebody who, YouTube is a thing where you have to put your personality out there. He has the thinnest skin of any, this is obviously something that we've known for about eight years, but I've never seen somebody with, you know, off the internet, on the internet, bulk so badly at any type of criticism. This is the absolute worst sort of profession route, I guess. For somebody who can't handle that, and I'll, I'll admit I'm not great in handling it. I get trolled and I get upset. Don't get me wrong, but um, if you do it for a living, I'm stating the bleeding obvious, aren't I? Uh, possibly, but it's not a bad <laughs> idea to keep going over it. <laughs> he, uh, yeah. He's an interesting sociological big specimen, you know? It's. I didn't do anything wrong, okay? I never do anything wrong. It's my parents' fault for not buying me that Wolverine oh, toy. Oh, that Wolverine toy. Oh. I mean, Fucking douchebags. As someone did say in the chat, though, <laughs> Phil does get triggered by jokes. I mean, remember the Mega 64 thing? Well, I was I supposed okay. to know it was a joke. Oh, yeah, that. <gasps> yep. <laughs> he doesn't understand satire, apparently. No, oh, he does not. He's entirely too serious about how highly he thinks of himself. He also doesn't yeah. understand weight loss. <laughs> Damn. Since he says he eats healthy. Damn, Leo King. 
Back at it again with them roasts. You shut the fuck up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> How did I know you was gonna say something? Phil, Phil eats healthy. Just three times the healthy amount. <laughs> <laughs> and at places that'll charge about 70 bucks for it. He's husky. He's a, he's a, he's healthy. Come and on. a faggot. He's lumpy. He has no neck. His chin goes straight to his chest. Hey, hey, like... hey, 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 now. Don't be dissing that gout tea. It's the only thing that keeps him from looking even more faggy, I guess. He is a very strapping, suave man. You will not disrespect him. Strapping? Ah, uh, he's got the strap. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Does? Sorry. All right, all right. Listen here, you stupid bitch. I'm going to pop you with the strap if you don't give me some goddamn underwear time. I'm sick of this hey, shit. Hey, yeah, pie strap. Oh, I miss wrestling. Yeah, you won't even be able to hold a gun. <laughs> Wait, how come I can't pull the fucking trigger? Oh, safety Pascal, zone? I love you. I'm the fucking safety zone. No wait, no, wait, the safety's off. Why the fuck can't I pull it down? Oh, Good god damn it. Oh, god damn it, my fingers aren't strong enough for this. <laughs> ah, shit. He probably can't get them chubby little sausages into the trigger guard. <laughs> you never know him. The yeah. fingers you have used to dial are too fat. You hold the gun like a rocket launcher and smack himself in the face with the gun. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past him. He's His phone is bugged. Man. Every time I hit the two, it presses the one and three key at the same time. Fuck. Ow. Oh. Oh, I mean, you know, you should be typing a lot of numbers. You're what, an accountant? <laughs> All right, well, yeah, I mean, we're doing, we're doing live accounting oh. during the SoCast. All right, look, whenever you get, listen, whenever you get right down to it, Phil is a very portly man, all right? He's very portly. Portly. Yes, very portly. portly. <laughs> Dude, very I, don't know, I, I don't know how many portions he got, man. God damn. Forty portions. Uh, oh, you mean, oh, you mean portly? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. no. Porkly. <laughs> Porkly. <laughs> Porkly. Porkly. I'll give you 80 portions for the child. <laughs> I'll just take one portion of underwear tab. Is that what he said when he got Liana? I'll take 40 portions. That's too mean-spirited. I'm sorry. He traded 40 <laughs> portions to her parents. For the child. <laughs> yeah, they no. did a deal. <clears throat> no, he, no, he traded... Uh, His balls. Fuck out of no, he, he, balls for no, no, he, no, he, 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 tra he traded in whatever game he, he just got yes. done with. Uh -oh. And then sent the box to a fan with a business card. Oh, God. Oh, uh, yeah, he uh, sent them a business card, and then uh, in exchange they gave him Leanna. So let's get back, let's get back into this. We've been on the uh, Alpha Omega Sin tip for a while here on this uh, topic. So let's see what we've got here. What the fuck? What? What the fuck? What, Mugo? You fucking. Alright, I think Moogle did something to himself. Uh, Moogle died. Moogle, you alright? Moogie, sniff, sniff, please. He touched himself. Yeah, we're, gonna, to we're gonna hold up. We're gonna hold up the whole show until he responds. Sounds like his computer finally froze over. Oh, God. Uh, you're Moogle. We can hear you. What's going on? Skype cursed. Moogle. Moogle. Did the stream die? Oh. Oh my god, Bowser Tron. Did it? John Tron looks like Phil's face. In no, it, it hasn't. Not yet. Wait, what? I don't... Oh, what? Mogul? Are we live? What's going on? Mogul, talk to us. Oh, nope, nope. There he goes. God damn it. Wait, are we still live? Uh, I the don't gameplay know. is still going, Wait, but... Mogul's, uh, Mogul's, like, disconnecting right now. Yeah, he is. First but... class. Now the the right. gameplay well, still going? Ladies and gentlemen, this is why I've got my backup stream. So for you on YouTube, what's up, motherfucker? Tech issues, ahoy! What? Yeah! I, I hate you all. Whoa, okay. Well, well, okay, watch your goddamn mouth. Hey, that's gorgeous. pretty good. <laughs> damn dirty son of a bitch. You don't talk to people like that. You don't, you don't, you don't talk like to that. you like that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now you can, watch, you, you can watch your mouth. You're next. <laughs> I, I didn't mean it. Oh, that is Mogul. What's up, man? Uh, so Skype crashed on me. Ah. 
You see, you see, all all, all, I, all the people watching don't know that I told them that I hate them. Mm -hmm. Well, the people on YouTube are going to know because of the <laughs> backup recording. Uh, <laughs> yep. But uh, the people hey, on live stream, man, you guys got fucked out of the, the best two minutes ever in SoCast history. Yep. Hey, you I thought your uncle this. just came and ripped your computer out your room. Mm -hmm. Ooh. <laughs> that was a Too bad he doesn't time. live with me. Yes. Well, he came over, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Came to pick him up. He, yeah. he he decided to square up. Yeah. <laughs> they call it an ice block. Up, Scott. Yeah. But uh, shout out to Skype. We you know we were testing Discord for a while, um, like back in what like October or something. We were testing Discord. Something like out. that. Something but we like never that. switched to it because we thought it'd be inconvenient for people. Uh, like the onion, the, it would be inconvenient for like new people like to jump in. Like say we were gonna get a guest or some sort be like, oh, hey, download Discord and make an account and all that other shit. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe the next episode will be brought to you by Discord. Why don't we try that out? Why not? Episode 71. Unless we get, like, you know, uh, a guest or something, which we actually might. So, I don't know. Let's uh, let's think about it. In the, in the near future, we'll try Discord. It'll alleviate some of these issues and <clears throat> stuff like that. But anyways, all right. We have to get a new topic. We've been on one for 40 minutes. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Do you think Phil even cares about fair use on YouTube since he's a managed partner? This is interesting. If you guys are not aware, there is a fairly viral campaign going on right now. The hashtag WTFU, where's the fair use? And this is a rally, I guess you would say, a pool of... YouTube content creators that want to promote and bring about change in YouTube's copyright system, especially pertaining to fair use, uh, which is a problem. I mean, all of us have pretty much agreed that YouTube's copyright system is very much uh, flawed and easily, easily uh, exploited by copyright holders. Uh, just for example, I know myself, um, the DSP Sings that I put up yesterday has like eight copyright claims on it, um, even though this was a video game playthrough and, you know, should be covered. But uh, this stuff happens. And anyways, aside from that, just making it relevant, um, Phil being a managed partner, I don't know if he's exactly going to champion this. Somebody asked him about it in the forums. I'll grab the forum post. But uh, while I do that, I don't know your guys' thoughts. Phil's, Phil's interaction, Phil's role, his thoughts. Not his problem. Not his problem. Shinema does it for him. Mm -hmm. Well, he, he won't. found a way to make it all about him to start off with. And now that it's a, it's a, it's a widespread problem and he is behind Machinima, he's sort of saying now it's not my problem. And it's I'm not going to help out because you didn't help me back in the day. Everybody else on the earth. I don't know. It's that weird thing he manages to do. Whenever you see a forum post about something in general, he just kind of molds it around his own situation. It will be his problem sooner or later. Uh, well, being yeah, a managed, absolutely. Being a managed partner, I think down the road, unless something changes, I don't think being a managed partner is going to offer the protection that people are looking for. Uh, he's got videos oh, that are yeah. muted because of uh, in-game music that are like, uh, there's a Saints Row video, a lot of people that have, uh, there's a mission in Saints Row 3 where Kanye West is playing in the background and like everybody that has that video uploaded, whether they're managed or not, it, the entire audio is muted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So his it's going to catch up with them. Through, his GTA played through like 3 and Vice City and stuff have been decimated by that because of the radio. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's where it's going to come down to. I don't think it's going to be necessarily the video game industry that's going to be the major problem. It's going to be the film and the music industry, which they're the two that have been the major problem since the internet came around. It's also that YouTube's got to fix the system, too. Yes. The situation, like, the whole thing, and it's a common comparison or a common uh, saying when it comes to the YouTube copyright system, is it's the only time in America where you're guilty until you prove your innocence. Yep. And it's just it is just like handled so badly. It is. There like th there are several things they could do to, like like one quick thing they could do to make it so much better. 
that they just don't. Like, like the thing about the money, like, hey, they get all the money until they let the copyright drop, which is 30 days after they claim it. So, like, why not just put that in a little side thing and then give it to whoever actually gets it at the end of the 30 days? Mm -hmm. Well, it's too automated, too. Good idea. Well, They're but that would require people actually being around and pay right. attention and to it. And as long as Google's making their money, they, they, they don't give a fuck. Nope. They're not making money off YouTube. And they're trying. I mean, the YouTube Red is obviously an initiative uh, to try. <laughs> I mean, could that be why, why suddenly it's a problem for everybody? They, they aren't making money and they want to... Then again, if they, everybody's blocked, that doesn't put them in any more of a position. They don't make than... money off of it. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually to their, to their favor to stop this from happening. I mean, I think... Can I... Go ahead, go straight again. Absolutely. I've seen a comment in the chat that I kind of want to address this because I, I, it kind of – somebody said that this is like Metallica and Napster all over again. Now, I have a very – I probably have a different view on how this copyright system works than some people. I feel it's necessary to prevent people from re-uploading songs and movies and making money off of them. In that aspect, if that was all that the copyright system was used for, I would have no issue with it. Whereas when it's being abused and it's being used the way it is to fuck people over that do make uh, fair use videos like movie reviews or cover songs and things like that, that's where my issue starts. Yeah. Uh, straight it, uploads, I don't see a problem with those being yeah. taken down. And it's quite transparent what they do. I mean, you, if somebody's giving a glowing review to, say, whoever is doing movie reviews, they give a really glowing review to whatever film. I mean, even though that's not safe, often that will be more safe than one that might criticize it. Absolutely. In a way. Right. You know what I mean? Because most of those content claims are manual. They're not automated because that doesn't yeah, really yeah. go about anymore. But they, they choose to do this. Like, they, they're absolutely doing this by themselves. So they they can choose they get a vet what gets to show up, which is the worst. Yep. Yeah, in that's comparison, fair use gets chucked out. Yeah, and it's just shitty. Yeah, like hire like seven eight people to look over this shit. There's a lot of it, yeah, but like there's there's, there's a shitload of it, yeah, but like you can hire like twenty people to just do this. Well, exactly, with, and if they want to go forward as a money making enterprise with YouTube. Um, it's going to really fall down flat once they build enough. What's the opposite of goodwill? Poor will, bad will, you know. Malice. Just, that, Malice. Thank you. Just bad tidings towards you know, and their competitors are pretty. Like, if they don't sort their shit out, competitors are going to be jumping up all over the place. You know, come over to Vimeo or whatever, and um, we'll help you more than. YouTube ever would. I, I just don't see how this is going to benefit YouTube itself in the long run. Mm -hmm. Un unfortunately, though, it, just it's someone rising up and being like, come to us and we'll help you. It, eventually, unless the laws change or the systems change, they're just going to get beat down into the same position that YouTube's in. It's, there's, there's so That's much true. here yeah. that needs to be looked at and worked on yeah. that it's going to be a constant problem. And it's... I think my biggest issue with it is it stifles creativity and people that could have something like really creative and uh, entertaining to share with people. There's people out there who are like, you know what, fuck it. It ain't worth the effort if I'm going to get slapped yeah. down with a copyright strike or something along those lines. So let's, uh, let's get Phil's reaction on this. I've got the forum post here from late Sunday night. And uh, here's what he says when, he was presented a thread uh, saying that Phil should make a video about this new movement that is happening. He refer uh, he shows uh, Boogie's video. Uh, a number of people are going back and forth. Of course, Daz Boshit, who uh, hasn't said a peep except for the forums where he's nice and safe. Shout out to Daz Boshit. Uh, Hi, Daz. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. He actually has two posts in there. That's pretty interesting. Um, but um, after that, uh, Phil finally does respond, and he says the following. Uh, I'll just kind of summarize most of it. Um, he says that he's already talked about this until he was blue in the face. He talked about it in 2009 when Rockstar supposedly struck his GTA 4 Lost and Damned playthrough. He talked about it in 2010 when somebody impersonated Ubisoft staff. 
Um, and they struck his splinter cell playthrough, taking down the original Dark Side Phil channel temporarily. He talked about it in 2013 when 800 plus videos got flagged and permanently lost the ability to monetize them uh, when YouTube flipped the switch on their content ID system. Or when Angry Joe made a three plus rant, when he made three plus rant videos about Nintendo getting content ID matched, and he called him out uh, for doing that in mid 2015, when both DSP Gaming and the King Hate Vlogs uh, vlogs got multiple bogus he puts in all caps copyright strikes against them for fan arts, and he says that he's beaten this down multiple times, but. Here's where he makes this about himself, and here's where he uh, makes sure to throw some shade on uh, fine people like us. And somebody actually, I'll reference this back, somebody actually predicted this is exactly how he would uh, respond. Here's what he says. I'm powerless to do anything to help. I no longer have the kind of reach that I used to have, thanks to the negativity that's been attached to me. Hell, even people in this thread think that if I added my own two cents, people would just see it as... Phil only cares about himself. Funny how back in 2011-2012, when I spearheaded the movement mm. against that bill, Sopa and Pippa, everyone listened and spreaded. He said, oh, spreaded. I thought he said spreaded. Everyone listened and spread the word. He got 700,000 views in a month. And now that he's become a much more mature person, a much better gamer and YouTuber, Nobody will listen to me for jack shit because of a bunch of immature kids and brain-dead morons who ride along this negativity movement. God forbid that Phil has something intelligent to say. He's a joke of a YouTuber, so he couldn't possibly contribute. Whatever. Forgive me for being sour, but nobody so much as lifted a finger when it came to my problems for eight years. Now, because Doug Walker and Boogie say something, something will change. Too far, or sorry, too little... Far too late, in my opinion. Way to keep a classy fiddle. <laughs> mm -hmm. Jesus. He acts like he's the only one who had to deal with this shit for the longest time. Well, you know. Well, I mean, he doesn't watch other YouTubers, so how would he know? Ah, exactly. If I can recall, one of the people who explained fair use the best, like, a couple of years ago was fucking YMS. Like, he talked about that shit nonstop. Yes, I remember that video. I love him. But, like, he, he works his fucking ass off. And he he gets shit on, like, every single time he releases a video, too. And it's, like, he's been doing it for so long. It's just been affecting him all, probably almost as long as it has Phil. If not worse than, because he doesn't upload a thousand videos a week. Yeah. I mean, a perfect example, almost, is um, YMS. That whole business with Derek Savage and the just lunacy with that cool cat thing oh derek savage didn't mind why this video sorry it was uh i hate everything about that uh oh, oh yeah I, YMS, sorry i'm mixing cool yep. cat but derek savage yeah. embraced that Not Back just. <laughs> oh, okay he's uh he's been a bit difficult to handle apparently recently but he's backed off again yeah but it's just like Sometimes it's people just trying to block stuff, and a lot of the other time it's just misinformation. So, Phil continues on. People are kind of, uh, kind of questioning his use of the term spearhead. Like, they're trying to challenge him, uh, saying mm -hmm. that he spearheaded this movement, and he responds, spearheaded is definitely the correct term. If you're referring to a YouTube movement, I was the first... Big gaming YouTuber to make a vi uh, a video about uh, Sopa and Pippa got 600,000 views in a month's time. Yada yada yada. After uh, the Sopa and Pippa, so man, I'm stumbling over reading this guy today. Uh, back after the bill, Sopa Pippa were killed in Congress. Demandprogress.org contacted me and wanted to be in their book to give me a formal credit oh. for starting the movement against YouTube gamers. Uh, I declined. What? Hold on, this what? is. A I declined mostly because they were going to use the book as a fundraising effort for their business, and I don't oh. always agree with the movements they try to spearhead themselves. Plus, I don't really look for credit on stuff like this as long as the message gets out. <laughs> Sorry. You're doing that right now, Phil. You're looking for credit right now. So okay. My head is literally in my hands. Idiot. Ghost Dragon, adjudicate this for us. 
I, I, I'll give him that he was a big opponent of the Sopa and Pippa stuff, and he was very outspoken about it. But to say that he spearheaded it, I wouldn't give him that much credit for it. But like I said, to be fair, he was very vocal about Absolutely. his uh, distaste for it, as were a lot of people. But no, I, he's not the first person that pops into my head as spearheading it. Right. And I just Actually, think this bit about, I mean, this whole thing, like, they offered me to do this. It didn't go through because of X reason, but it totally legitima- it legitimizes me, you know? It's, uh, I, I don't know. the first time I've heard of it. If he'd done anything that, like saying that these people had offered to put me into a book, yeah, he would have kept that quiet for this long. We know that he's such a humble, non-bragging type. Uh, I don't know. Mm. So, I mean, that's essentially Phil's angle on this one. Um bitter, upset, and uh, doesn't want to lift a finger to contribute to it, but in all honesty, though, I mean, let's uh, let's be let's be up front here. If he were to uh, do that, I believe that it would be in terms of clickbaiting, stuff like that. I don't really think that Phil does have uh, any sort of meaningful voice um, and yeah, to a certain extent, he is kind of right that he doesn't really have a voice anymore. Uh, much of it to his own doing. I mean, the stuff that people like us post are literally source material of what he's doing. So it's not like we edit things or make him say things that he didn't say. Um, all of these things that people dislike him for are things that he did, things that he said, and things that were shown um, essentially with the source footage. I don't know of any instances where it was... I've never seen somebody like take two clips and run them together to make them say something else. Uh, it would, it wouldn't come off well anyway. It'd sound weird. Um, mm. But anyways, so that's his angle. Is uh, fuck you guys. I needed help back then. I was, I used to bang the drum for this kind of stuff when I was a big timer. But those fucking kids have knocked me down, and I can't do anything to help. Because of the detractors. If it weren't for them, I'd be able to help. But unfortunately, <clears throat> you know, I can't. God damn it, evil AJ. Fucking AJ. So, there's that. Somebody doing some good typing. Sorry, that's me. Ooh. <laughs> I didn't think this mic was that sensitive. <laughs> Hot red hand. I'll stop. <laughs> I live next to a train line and no, like, coal trains have gone past yet, so... It's my one big worry is <laughs> during this. I know it. I know Fred doesn't like that. I'm Sorry just. I'm just very worried about the people <laughs> at home. That's all. I want. I, know, I, I want because I know people. Love I know a lot of people for podcasts. They put in like headphones. They go to the gym and stuff like that. So I'm just always looking out for for the viewer. I don't want them to be subjected to anything. But don't worry. It's oh, it's so, fine. I, I just want absolutely. To. Sorry, I didn't realize it was. Oh no, it's I not thought a it was, big deal. It's a crappy headset that I'm using. I'm like, I oh. thought it was somebody else. If I would have known, I would have. <laughs> I would have given you a pass. He was played no, to no, you. I got death threats. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, usually, it's, oh. Ghost Dragon, you are still going to be dead. Well, yeah, everybody <laughs> dies sooner or later. Last time I did it, he hasn't stopped fucking calling me in the middle of the night, telling me he's gonna kill me. Fuck. <laughs> that was. That's not me. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, <laughs> you must. You must have some fucking vendettas with people. I'm gonna murder fuck him? Yeah. Wait, no! Oh, no. God damn it! <laughs> oh, hang on. Whoa. Uh, you know I what? You in there. <laughs> this this might this might just be the podcast, but I'm still gonna quote that. So, anyways, all right, let's move on. We've got we're like three in. Um, all right, we we got to try to hustle here. Let's 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 get some of these done. All right. Um. Oh, this is actually interesting. I didn't even think about this. Um. Very interesting. Phil's two-month contract with Machinima ends at the end of the month. If you guys remember, that's the little trial period where he can f- test the market and see what he's worth, yada, yada. Um, should we brace ourselves for the inevitable Patreon plugging, begging, vlogging, and otherwise standard chicanery? Very nice. Very nice. From Phil, when it hits him that his contract is as dead as his channels are, submitted by Yanu. I'll take I just this want to say one. Some, okay, no, go, ahead. go ahead, Pascal. Uh, I you, you... Some... I'm sorry. Do it. Okay. So I don't know if a lot of you guys have been paying attention to a lot of stuff people have been talking about Machinima recently. 
I mean, all like the shitty practices they have and all that other shit. He is the only person that I've seen on YouTube that is willing to stay with Machinima. Because they don't help him, they ignore him, and they take a shitload of his money. Like, what? what is his mindset there? I don't know. Actually, I, hear, I hear, like, big YouTubers talking about how yeah. shit Machinima is all yeah. the time. So why he even sticks with them is beyond me. I mean, hell, PewDiePie... Yeah, Pe yeah, PewDiePie dropped them a long time ago, so... Yeah. I've noticed I don't understand why he's fucking staying with them. That's just really I dumb with him. Always got. I mean, th there's other startup companies that want him, but I don't think they're... They, they <coughs> probably don't have anywhere near the cloud that Machina would... Blah, Machinima would. And it's better than nothing, I suppose. And I can still maintain my managed partnership. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the main thing. Um, he wants to have the managed partnership, and for what he said, uh, which, again, you always have to take with a fill-sized serving of salt. <laughs> That's pretty salty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to take it with the salty sundae dosage. Um, <laughs> That's saucy sundae, okay? <laughs> um, you will have to take him at his word, I guess, if you feel like it, that Machinima offered him the most money. Machinima offered to make his... Um, montage channel KO Gaming, a managed partner channel as well. So everything sort of added up. We predicted long ago that he was going to um, stick with Machinima. I mean, it was pretty much a no-brainer. Here's the thing, though, and and here's to answer Yanu's question about the Patreon plugs and stuff like that. Here's the thing. Um, specifically with him, there is a two-month period between your results for the month and you getting paid so he's going to be getting january's paycheck in march it's that long march is coming and to hear phil tell it january was the worst performing month he ever did monetarily now he said the views were fine but because of his new contract because of the ads based contract he's going to be making much less for the same amount of views that he would for his other contract so march rolls around and so help me god this guy is going to be plugging and begging and bitching and urging you to watch his stuff, to spread the word. He's been doing that. People haven't been spreading the word. He's been doing poorly. His paycheck has <clears> been <throat> poorly made. Huh? Huh? It's would, I mean, I mean, would you say that his uh? Don't do the, the, the money don't that do he's don't making. Do it. Don't, been, don't do it. I, don't fucking do it. I swear to God. God damn it! <laughs> he's gonna be poorly paid. Uh, shout out to what is that Bahamat? Oh, Bahamat ninety seven. I thought it was like Bahamati or something like that. Shout out to Bahamat. That's pretty good. Poorly paid. I like that. Bahamat has had some great comments up. In some zingers. Head. This guy. I know. Shout out, man. Yes, sir. Um, but yeah, he's going to be. Uh, I mean, I'm telling you, if you guys are, if you guys are, you know, going to be paying attention at all, these are the pre streams to check out. These well, are going to be the humdingers. And if next week's anything like this week, I mean, he's lamenting his low views this week, so if that trend keeps up, <laughs> he's going to oh, be, boy. oh, man. And, I mean, these were, you know, some decent releases. Um, you know, he had one that had uh, a good amount of, of hype and intrigue for people. A lot of people skipped Firewatch, and instead they watched their favorite YouTubers played and said, see, that's where Phil excels. That's really where Phil excels. It, they are the games that um, are AAA titles or are titles that have a certain amount of intrigue, but ones that people are skipping. So instead of playing the game themselves, and I used to do this back in the day, a game that I would skip, I'd be more than happy to watch um, so that I can understand the story, so that I can see if maybe it'll change my mind and maybe I'll buy it anyways. Um, those are the games where Phil really thrives because you always hear like, oh, you know, people, people are going to play Fallout 4, but they're deciding to 
put it off and watch my playthrough or play alongside and the views are going to catch up and all that stuff, that all gets messy for him. What he likes are the games that people are going to skip and they're going to watch him instead. Um, and that was, that encapsulates Firewatch perfectly. Um, Far Cry Primal, there may be some PC gamers that don't have the game yet. Um, there may be people that are skipping it because they just, you know, are upset with Ubisoft. A lot of people are ideologically opposed to Ubisoft in general. Um, and he's lamenting the performance this month. So things are going to get very interesting here. I mean, That's the thing. go ahead, Miss uh, Shadow. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <clears throat> here's the thing. I think none of us want to see this guy homeless. I don't think any of us here want to see this guy. I mean, he's he's entertaining in his own way, or for all the wrong reasons, does. Mm -hmm. But um, he really is kind of by not taking on any of like he could have listened to that for so long and made his business bigger and better. Ah, it really is a bit worrying. And, and and the thing actually I've noticed lately, the thing that made him interesting to start off with, um, like and again interesting in all the wrong ways, uh, was watching him rage. He's becoming boring. He's quite quiet during most of his Street Fighter not most, but a good portion of his Street Fighter matches. He just doesn't say anything now. It's it's quite bizarre. I think he's internally quite nervous but doesn't want to sort of look like he's lost any machismo. I, I, I yeah. Just an observation. Hmm. Interesting. He's in the PG era. Oh god. <laughs> what the flippity <laughs> floppity <laughs> floop. Do you know that is weird. Um I feel like he did toy around with the idea of trying to tone it down a bit, but again, the edgiest kid show on the internet, he can't let those edgy thirteen year olds down. They gotta hear the cuss words, they gotta hear the sexuality. I mean, they need it. They need to hear about him uh, telling other people to suck on the dick and balls. <laughs> yeah. And about and about the amount of fecal matter on, on dicks. I mean, you know, somebody Sh has to. Shitty Fucking dicks. shitty dicks. <laughs> so. so. Some people just like to hear new ways to blame other people for their own problems. And he comes up with a bunch of good catchphrases for that. There was nothing I could do, okay? I think that, um, again, that, you know, this is going to get, this is going to get interesting, to say the least. So we'll keep an eye on that. Thank you very much for it's that gonna one. It's going to get clutch. <laughs> Yenu. Uh, what else we got here? So, mm hmm. Ooh, interesting. All right, here we go. Um, by Tick again. Thank you very much, Tick. Phil has been saying how he pretty much needs the Patreon to do this full time. However, doing some simple math puts the amount he earns from Patreon between 1,000 and 4,000 below the federal poverty line for two people. Um, given he keeps uh, going on about ad revenue not cutting it anymore, how much over or under the poverty line would he currently be? Um, and also, uh, looks like somebody added on. To add on to this, the living wage in King County for two adults is roughly 37000 per year. This number assumes that both adults are working, assuming he makes 1000 minimum on Patreon per month. That's still $25,000 unanswered for. Interesting. So, uh, obviously, we haven't done the math on this. Um, this seems like a good little project uh, for us to do. Uh, if anyone Just wants before to we do us. that, may I interject? The chat is saying how awesome breasts are. I agree. As an owner of a pair, yeah, just bring that I up. swear to God, I have nothing to do with this. <laughs> Shout out to Bress, and I'm sure Phil, you know, with his great pair of breasts, that's fantastic. Yeah. I'm sure that he feels the same way. Um, at least I'm so deprived of them. <laughs> the trapezoids? <laughs> why, why, why did I do this to myself? I, I, I mean, I just, I just wanted to have someone that could actually, you know... Provide me some underwear time. Mm. He's got the polygons. The polygons. <laughs> he's, pro he's probably made enemies with the people over at Polygon. He's probably he's made enemies with everybody. He's probably attributed some fake quotes to them too and shit. But, uh, alright, so let's do this one. Um, 
So as far as this goes, the, the amount of money he makes, um, that's obviously something that we'd have to like look into uh, or try to like calculate or something like that. Um, one of my friends was actually trying to do that, and they were trying to calculate like how much he makes and stuff like that. Um, but just roughly speaking, uh, to the point that he needs to make the Patreon, that, that sort of branches off what we were saying, that Patreon is going to be crucial. It's going to be very crucial to his business, to his well-being. Um, to his ability to keep doing this and I mean he's not he's not too creative when it comes to his patreon and you know he's removing different perk levels it's not exactly set up to be the thing that supports him so we're gonna see and he's he's going to have to I'm I'm interested to see how he changes up his Patreon, how he spices it up, uh, makes it more interesting, stuff like that. He's got to give more control over to the viewers. That's for sure. And that's his downfall. He, I don't think he can. He, it's all about him and him on his terms. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe maybe he should set up a goal where they come, they pay to come visit him and live with him. Come square up with them. Uh, Sammy and KG would snap that up. Oh man, they would. It would be like make Dear it God. like rent, rent per month. You can just make it on Patreon. Do you imagine they just be doing that thing where you flick the dollar bills like at a stripper? Sammy would fucking live in that little uh, that little closet that he just cleared with his uh, with the statues and shit. He would <laughs> I live think in there. KG's already living there. They just don't know. KG lives under the bed. <laughs> Nobody knows about that. But... ADSB, when are you <laughs> gonna go out of business? I tried to tell Fred Fox to take you out of business, but clearly it's not working. When are you gonna get out of business? Hey, uh, Fred Jr., can you do me a favor? What? In your Sammy voice, can you say the juice is loose? <laughs> the juice Please. is loose. <laughs> Come on, Phil. I just prepared a new batch. <laughs> I've been waiting for so long to hear that. Oh, it was glorious. Hey, Sammy. Yeah. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> do you juice? You got damn right I juice. Oh, yeah. I juice everything. Uh, Sammy, you're juicing. Um, we can have you in the WWE and... Set you up with a good match. So long as it's up against those detractors. No, you can beat, I the, sh don't... You, you can beat the shit out of my son, uh, Shane. He needs a match. I don't have time for a four-hour pay-per-view. So let's just shoot the shit, Vince. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. What else have we got here? Uh, oh, here's a good one. Um, here's... <laughs> A little bit dated, but I guess uh, because of the DSP sings it, I guess this is uh, calling this back into <laughs> uh, attention. So when Leanna comes in for Phil's rock band stream, is she just watching the silent TV with nothing but Phil singing, being all that she can hear, submitted by Tyler, motherfucking Moneybags Hanson? That is it. That is that correct. Is, that is all. She was just kind of amazed oh. by the pretty colors. Yeah, she's, ooh, colors. Fisher Price. And Daddy's singing. I like it. <laughs> uh, those faces she was making, I don't think she liked it. <laughs> I think she's thinking, you'd, you'd better bring the money in with this one or I'm running for the job. I had to That's make that. That's too mean. I'm sorry. I had to make that one picture the thumbnail because she just gave him such a what the fuck face. Um, <laughs> but she was making faces like that throughout her time there and what i called attention to in the dsp sings i guess that's a gratuitous plug i don't know uh if you check it out that's cool but i'll do it for you check awesome. out fred's dsp sings it playthrough it's fantastic he's very talented at editing <laughs> i i don't have a good announcer voice i'm sorry <laughs> oh heads up though it is intolerable okay i edited it but you know obviously it's still dsp uh, it's dsp it's intolerable so uh i tried to make it as easy to uh consume as possible but uh anyway it didn't work one of the things Actually, go ahead i was just gonna say i think 
round of applause for Fred for getting through making that montage. Because Thank you. Because I would have shot myself. Before. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Um, so one of the things I wanted to highlight, though, is this. When Leanna comes into the room for the first time, Phil notices it, and he gives such a just... It was a mixture of get the fuck out of here and I really don't want you here and please God leave. And she and she has fun with it. She comes into the frame all like smiling and shit. She knows that she's given Phil a hard time by being there. He doesn't want to be sitting next to her singing like an idiot. He's trying to get her into a position where she's going to provide underwear time. He doesn't want to ruin that by singing like an idiot. And he's singing, I got two tickets to paradise and shit like that. She's probably expecting for him to buy her two tickets to paradise now. Giving her ideas. So that's what I enjoyed. Um, is not only was she there, not only was she just there to, uh, oh, somebody appreciates the Bill Burr, Baha Matt. You know what's up. I got that from uh, Bill Burr because... Uh, that guy's very, very brilliant. I love that. Uh, the reference, if you guys are not aware, is the Bill Burr. He's watching John Lennon and Chuck Berry playing, and Yoko Ono is essentially Pandali in this, uh, in this sense, and she's being annoying and shit. And uh, and yeah, that's uh, that's where that's from. But anyways, she's just sitting there listening to nothing and uh, mouthing the words, and she's just basically there to antagonize Phil. Anytime he does something stupid, he just fucking gets a dirty look and shit like that. Like She's she... always been a bit like that. Yeah. Oh, sweetie. Oh, no. Uh... Sleep for so for, for you. <laughs> Sorry, I can't do American accents. <laughs> that was actually pretty good. <laughs> Why um... do you make my life a living hell? <laughs> Fred's going to have to take over for this one. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, it's because um, you make my life not worth living. Oh. <laughs> well, give me some other word, time, you stupid no, bitch. No, you fucking idiot. <laughs> you know what? Square up. You know what? That's fine, because I'm going to fucking keep these pants up. God damn it. What about Pearl Tom? No. He tries that when I'm sleeping, and I fucking karate chopped him in the head. It didn't hurt as much as I made it out to be. In fact, I kind of liked it. <laughs> Flame Clot says, is that Fred doing a more accurate Leanna voice than the actual female? Thank you. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Claw. I appreciate that. Always got my back. Appreciate it. Uh, all right, let's, let's power through some more of these. Um, let's see. DSP has recently been talking up his videos lately. Do you think DSP honestly believes that his videos are of a higher quality than most YouTube channels submitted by 2D2 Will? What do you guys think? Yeah. I've heard him talk about the fact that he calls his videos more genuine, that the people that edit their videos down are fake, and, uh, and that people appreciate the realness. He's real. I'm real. We're not if on the I'm, internet. If if Sick by realness, realness okay go on no i'm sorry you go i was gonna say if by realness you mean people telling him that he sucks at the game sure hmm. Just Just on the... that out there. no one's on the internet for genuine shit we're on the internet to escape genuine shit we want to see fucking idiots do stupid shit oh you listen to me i keep it 100 what? every day all right i fuck, keep it fuck real you steaks in the bathtub <laughs> <laughs> What fucking videos have you been watching? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know the comeback. I don't. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm at for, for the first time in my life. I'm at a loss. I, I don't know. Good, good job, Pascal. You finally broke Blake. Rip. Look at that. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't that know. shit didn't even make sense. I just fucking said it. <laughs> I, 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 don't I don't know. God damn it, Pascal. <laughs> you killed any fucking hope that we had in this fucking podcast. Let's go, let's you know, go. you know what? Square up with him. 
think Blake's, I think Blake's dying, guys. I I I, I don't know. <laughs> Someone get the know. snapping turtle. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's some ancient shit. Break out the snapping turtle. It's time, shit. boys. Fight me. <laughs> oh, looks God like damn. something. What is this? Uh oh. Torres, are you with us, my friend? Oh shit! Oh, well, this is a series. Oh shit! Uh, Mr. Torres, are you with us, sir? I'm here now. What the motherfucking fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> He's alive. Wait, Torres is alive? I thought he was undead. Uh, I'm oh both. fuck! I forgot. <laughs> uh, I I, I accidentally I accidentally used holy on him. Somebody's or whatever. Like a son, son of a bitch. Jesus. That's not Jesus. me. Yeah, it's gonna say. Bad, whatever that was. Damn it, Torres, you fuck. God, it's Torres. God damn it. I thought we solved this. It's, it's, Darth, Darth, it's Darth Torres. God damn it. I thought we solved this before the podcast. Oh. Torres, what the motherfucking fuck is this shit? All right, what is this? What is, what is hey, Torres hey, hey. I thought since I've been, been here for a while, I would have come back with some type of antics. Phil looks like Super Mario so, without the suspenders. <laughs> so you call your fan? Your uh, fucking which one? Which one would you like? The one with the word bubbles or the one without? I, I feel like we need to share this. Wait, use both. Hold on, I gotta see. All right, this let me let me yeah, let me imgur this. Me. Yeah, I'll. Yeah, give it to me. Oh, okay. Yeah, let me I'll, give it I'll to. It. Let me give it to Mr. Chat Bagel. All right. Oh God, I'm. I'm throw it in the I'm... Chat. <laughs> Give me first time seeing this. All right, here's this. I don't, I don't even want to look at it yet. <laughs> Here we go. All right, where'd it go? There it is. All right, number one. That's without word bubbles. All right, what is this? No man is excited. Number yeah, two, excited. with word bubbles. Oh boy. Is this another Jesus panda leaf drawing? Yes. Oh god. Uh, it's not what you think. So look. Uh-huh. <laughs> He's like, I don't even want to look at this anymore. <laughs> no. She looks right. so upset. This is, this is, this is taking a while. God damn it. Uh, I, I can put it on him. Why? <laughs> Why? Oh, my God. <laughs> you know what? Oh, my Lord. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm to... Do gonna, the one with the word bubbles. Yeah, I'm going to screenshot the, this. The one up with the word bubbles? Yes, sir. Okay. okay. Let, let, we'll, we'll stop teasing the people at home. And uh, we'll That's let them in. Okay, this. here we go. Are you ready? Fucking Torres with the damn Torres back at again with the disgusting drawings. Please stop. <laughs> oh my! If you don't shut your fucking mouth, right, you know what? I snapped out of it. I've had enough. There right, it is, Torres. ladies and Hold gentlemen. On, <laughs> it's Torres. Do the PSP don't. Don't even fucking shame me. Now <laughs> here's what here's yeah. what I enjoy about this. All right. Phil looks awesome. like Super Mario without the suspenders. <laughs> he got the blue t-shirt, the red <laughs> pants. He looks like he fucking laid down the fucking suspenders. <laughs> the goatee really looks not. better than Phil's actual yeah, goatee. Yeah. Here's the thing. It, there's like a face-off thing happening if they'd swap breasts. That is true. Yeah, they do look um, like they're about to square up. Square up with me, you stupid bitch. All right, you know what, Torres? I hope... You think long and hard about everything you've done up until this point and wonder if this was worth it because <laughs> I'm sorry. This is it. This is it. Blake, I've seen your Twitter. You got a lot of crust. Calling <laughs> <Yeah. Torres for laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, have been advised not to go to Blake's Twitter. Listen, listen, don't listen. Do it. Shout out to my main man, G Man. All right. Listen, the guy upstairs. All right. Oh, no, He's not this out. again. <laughs> what do you mean again? Well, then again, Torres is the guy that made that fucking Leanna drawing. Oh yeah, you want you want to see that one? I I got that no, one. No, 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 we do not. <laughs> like, I, Nobody God, wants it. to see that. I still have that renegade bukkaker to one. Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> I'm terrified. I'm officially terrified. Well, then I again, don't know what's well then again, chromosexual Che was also bad. Hmm. Yeah, Torres, uh, you have issues. You got too much time on your hands. Issues. <laughs> Blake Jr. All right, let's no. see. No, Blake Jr. Fucking Moon Man. 
That's moon. That's the question of Torres. Were you that kid in art class that your teacher would say, but you've got so much potential? Mm. How do you do this to me? <laughs> <laughs> you are so good at art, and then. What the I, I'm just looking at a picture of. He Phil needs to use his powers for good. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. <laughs> just yeah. like when Purple Pie made that fucking tit fucking shirt. Made me throw <laughs> up. Oh. Made me throw up. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Purple Pie. Per shout out to right? Purple Pie and and Bazookaville <laughs> and UG and all the other <laughs> artists that are in this fucking community. We're we're so lucky to have all these talented people around us. It really makes me fucking uh, you know uh, humbled to see some truly <laughs> talented people. Um, oh hi Torres, I didn't see you there. I thought you were gonna say feel bad. <laughs> That's why I can't it. share oh, my art. It's not nearly as gross as some oh, of the no. stuff. Oh no, I mean I don't even have to mention Torres. He's the he's the official Sons of Kojima artist, and we can't even have a conversation about art without Mr. Torres. We just showcased his art right now, fucking Pascal. You should see a uh, change. How dare drawings. you? How <laughs> dare you, Pascal? I oh. say y'all think I'm bringing out my dark side doing that painted lead drawn. Y'all fucking told me to do it. Y'all wouldn't have ever seen it in the first place. Hey, Do not, not blame us for that. Wrong. That is that is conspiracy. Yeah, that is that is on you, man. That is conspiracy to commit. That, that is that is entirely you. Art aside. Either way, y'all still wouldn't have been discussed it, so why would it matter? Uh, because leave faith. me out of that, because that was before We told my you to time, make it so realistic. You guys have issues that I don't. You're, you're here now. <laughs> we told yeah. you to make it realistic, and that, I guess, should be interpreted <laughs> as disgusting. <laughs> yeah, true. It could have been a lot worse, let's be honest. True. I can remaster that picture, but... Don't, don't do it, you piece of shit! <laughs> <laughs> I will I fucking you blew kill out you. my headset. <laughs> I will do what everybody has been saying and murder fuck you. Alright, let's, let's <laughs> We're gonna have a good old uh, Mexican square up off, alright? No, a Mexican uh... murder fuck one? A Mexican no, no. murder no, fuck. No, no! <laughs> God damn it, right. I'm not Mexican! What, are you calling up the cartel on that? Listen, shout out to El Chapo. I need an adult. I um, need an adult. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get back on. The, let's get back on track. We've been in. Uh, as someone in the chat noted, it scrolled too fast for me to shout you out, but it said something like, "This podcast went derailed and continued to go in the wilderness." So let's get back on track. We've got a couple other things. Uh, something that I actually am going to deviate from real quickly. I think somebody might have posted it. They didn't. All right. So let me just uh, let me delve into this real quick. I took a pop over. I popped over to uh, Phil's Twitter, and uh, he says the following: <clears throat> As of an hour ago, uh, the good news: things picked up in Far Cry Primal today. The bad news: YouTube continues to make my streams buffer, and it's incredibly annoying. It's now been three straight days that YouTube has had issues with 1080p video and causes streaming to buffer endlessly. Will this ever be fixed? Anywho, now uploading yada yada yada. He says this. I'll say this. Let's see if the streaming issues clear up over the weekend. If not, I may lay off the streaming a bit. We'll see. Lower your so, bit rate, you big oaf. Uh, yeah. Well, he is dead set on having the highest quality content on his channel. He. But even if that means he doesn't have any content on on his channel well like he was quite willing to get get banned from other places because ah here's the thing here's here's the thing that i think sort of factors in it actually doesn't do phil all that much to do the streams um everyone that watches the stream all the way through is not someone who watches the 10 or so parts right um so it actually is the best for him to get people to watch all of his videos. Now, I'm sure that there's something to streaming, um, the ability to generate more attention or to um, provide fan service, yada, yada, yada. There's something to streaming that obviously benefits him. But it is absolutely beneficial to him in terms of just the way that he'll get views on his parts to not stream. So... To, to me, when I read this, it's kind of an idle threat, and really it just punishes his viewers that like to watch his live streams. That's it. That's that's literally um, all that does. It just punishes the fan. Um, and in this 
situation where he needs people to donate to him. He needs people to have good will <clears throat> towards him and to care about him and to be invested in his well-being and want to continue to see him do this stuff. He needs to do them the best. And uh, I don't think his fans necessarily care that they get every single last pixel out of that bit rate. I think they just want to get the content. So he should turn that shit down, but he won't. He's got to have that 1080p 60 FPS, though. Mm -hmm. So as we can see him failing a puzzle over and over and over. Oh, I mean, oh, I mean, if you think, <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, this is like the re the entire reason why he left Twitch because they wouldn't let him stream at that high of yeah. a bit rate, and and now it's happening on YouTube. But I don't think he's gonna leave YouTube because he's got nowhere else to go. That's he's right. Kind of, he's... <laughs> he's he's trapped himself in a hole. He's painted himself into a bit of a corner, really. Mm -hmm. That is what defines his uh, his career on YouTube. Right his now. Uh, his his quality content. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, all right, let's see. What else have we got here? Um, <laughs> a lot of good stuff here. Interesting. Um, let's see. Something that can kind of get passed around a bit here. What do you think hurts Phil's business more, his arrogance or his laziness? Submitted by Boredom Breaker. Gout. All Gout. of the above. <laughs> Gout. I was going to uh, say both. Yeah, I'm going to check both boxes on that one. <laughs> All of the above. Hmm. Poor damage control. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's a good helping of both. Hmm. I gotta go with the arrogance, to be honest with you. I think he's gotten he's gotten by with his laziness for how long now, but his arrogance has really developed over the past years. And as time went on, he's gotten worse in terms of his attitude. I think maybe I can change arrogance to attitude. His attitude has gotten worse. He's become more and more bitter, more and more stubborn, more and more confrontational, more, more willing to try to combat his detractors instead of converse with his detractors. Hmm? Attitude era. The attitude era. The attitude era. Oh, God. I don't know about you, but I've always found him obnoxious, even when I was watching him. Mm -hmm. The thing He's about just... um, auto. Cool. Yeah, it's all good. Don't worry about it. Go on. Oh no, I was just gonna say the thing about YouTube. What th that makes it different from seeing a movie, from watching <clears throat> a TV show, it's about the personality behind the screen. And I think you're totally right, Fred. His attitude is so off-putting. They just go, well, I'm not. I'm depressed watching this guy. <laughs> right. Like it's not a fun experience. I feel like I'm being talked down to and abused by just being here um there are plenty of other options so why don't i go with one that'll make me smile people tune yeah, in just, to be yeah. entertained they don't tune in exactly. to think about other person another person's problems they exactly, want to yeah. come home from work come home from school and unwind and be entertained and a lot of people are there for the game they're not there for phil specifically they're just used to phil he does the unedited content they want the game. They want to be taken through a fun ride, to look at the game, evaluate it, see if they want to buy it, get yeah. the story from it, you know, that kind of stuff. So. And Phil is there for Phil and for a paycheck. And that comes through really strongly. Um, especially when every five seconds he mentions something about either his debt, his Patreon, his Amazon affiliate links. Um, and the fact he's he's getting more morose, and this I, I'm not going to make fun of him for that. He's in some pretty dire circumstances if things don't change, mm -hmm. and I don't want him to end up on the street. I'm not like we're not monsters here. He's actually brought us all together in a way, I guess. Um, but he is a buffoon, and he's he's an entertaining one. You know, nobody wants him on the streets, but yeah, if he doesn't fucking get his shit together. And ain't going to feel sorry for him. Oh, hell no. Hell no. But, um, yeah, he, he'll bring about his own downfall. He will have no one to blame, but he will blame everybody else. But um, in reality, he won't have anybody to blame but himself. Let's see here. And the Wolverine toy. Oh, that fucking Wolverine <laughs> toy. My parents were bitches again. His demise. That, <clears throat> that was the catalyst. Oh, here's something. Um, let me see if I can find this. 
this is fantastic um, in terms of a question, in terms of to, to bring this up for people's uh, knowledge. Submitted by P. Busy. Thoughts on Phil claiming that him and John Rambo weren't even that good of friends as a reason for why people shouldn't believe what John Rambo said about him. And thoughts on the fact that Phil would say that about the only friend he's had in probably close to a decade. Let me grab the uh, quote on that one. He actually said that on the forums. Um, he clarified for people that they weren't even that good of friends. Uh, it was just that... Um, they were business partners, really. Let me find this for you guys. Well, what do you guys think? Go ahead. Let's, uh, let's get some back and forth while I'm finding this. Thoughts that Phil would even say this after all this, after apparently squashing this and stuff like that. Um, he said it as well in the chat, too. Let me try to find this. If, uh, if it's true that they were not terribly good friends, they were business partners or whatever, why would then, um... John and Rambo, sorry, John Rambo and uh, Howard be so passionate when they did release the video they did. There was clearly, especially Howard, he he was clearly cut, like cut deep by some of these actions. And I don't know, just the fact that they were so, uh, somebody stop me, I'm talking too much. Um, <laughs> I, 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 I don't know, it's just like I wouldn't see a reason for fucking... John Rambo to put all his effort into actually going out to his place, playing video games with him, recording with him, and Howard working his ass off to ask people like Respect the Pact and that to help him with like Project 7 and all that, and hell, even ha uh, have his own arcade around where he hangs yeah. out with all his friends and stuff. Just just all around have a, fun, have a lot of fun. Um, I, I just don't know why um, like I don't see how he would see them as bad friends when they've done everything they can to uh, keep their uh, friendship going. It's mostly on Phil. You decided to fucking yeah. throw everything away, move out to Washington, and for whatever reason dropped all contact with them. Uh, even but if it was just the move to Washington, you just sort of go, yeah, whatever. It's everything else. I mean, once that video came out, my God, it did connect so many little you know, some little wires that, that sort of, it filled in a lot of blanks and confirmed a lot of things that I think everybody was already thinking about what Phil would be like as as one of your friends. But but I do believe that they were, they had to have been good friends at some point. Phil used to speak of them as good friends and just, you could tell <clears throat> Howard was still, like, angry in his voice and John sounded legitimately remorseful that this friendship had just, it, it came down to this. If they were just business associates, I don't see them putting that much passion into into making a video addressing it. Yeah. I'm probably making no sense, I know. I. No, I, what I think they did was they wanted to clear some things up and like basically tell people, like, oh, you know, Phil's a piece of shit. Um, I honestly believe them more than I do Phil. And Phil oh, yeah. has a past history of being full of shit, and he's exactly. like the last person I want to really believe yeah. and try to explain things. So. Yeah. Well, you see, from, think, yeah. from, well, you see, Phil, did, Phil, according to Howard, well, they they got Gugats, so. Ah, uh, you've been waiting to say that. <laughs> yes, I have. You son of a bitch. <laughs> they got Gugats. Thank you, so thank can I just you. say, I love everybody in the chat right now. You're all beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Phil's problem is everything. It, it almost seems like he's trying to legitimize that they weren't his friends so that he doesn't have to, like, I don't know, feel bad about it. Which, But, I mean, everything in Phil's life seems like it's very disposable, like a, uh, like a prepaid cell phone once you're out of minutes or whatever. Throw it away, move on, and I mean it sucks for Howard and John because they considered him a friend. But I just think Phil just like once he's done with somebody, he just like tries to come up with these different things to uh, just make it seem like he's not the bad guy and he's not losing anything by not having him around. They've done what they could to like, you know, just help him out, and Phil just fucks off. Pretty much. 
I, I I don't know what else I could really say about that. It's just that it's just really shitty that like he doesn't really uh, talk with them or anything. Uh, like even even if I moved out of the country and I had good friends that lived in my hometown, I would have still get, kept in contact with them. Yeah, I mean, and that's yeah. distance shouldn't be a factor for ending a friendship. I got friends that uh, moved to different states and stuff like that, and most of them. I talk to at least once a week. Some of them I have daily contact with. I think it's safe to say at this point, Phil's biggest fuck up was moving out to Washington. There's no doubt about that. It it, it, it had it, it had its uh, advantages and disadvantages because while well, while he's in debt, he is able to keep Leanna away from any sort of competition. He has her all to himself. So. Mm. That rings so unfortunately true. <laughs> it really does. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, I mean, that's what you get for moving all the way across the country away from your parents at such a young age. It, uh... I, it, it, it won't end well. I have really mixed feelings about Liana, she said, and done some pretty gross things, but... God, she was young when she, um... And I know, I... I it took me a while to mature. I think I was about 21 and realizing I was going to have a baby. Um, I think, yeah, he called her quite young, and she, she's quite young even for her age. He's kind of, yeah, he's grabbed her, and honestly, nothing about their their life, not to judge anybody else's lifestyle, but none of it seems that normal. They don't go out with friends to dinner it's just the two of them they're not like oh I'm, you know honey i'm going out you know for drinks tonight and i'll be back at wherever oh yeah yeah that's great neither of them actually seem to have friends anymore no they definitely do not have friends uh and that's Phil weird <laughs> sorry but i just uh... yeah, the yeah. Masters. they're and you and this is and this is also a good reason why uh phil wouldn't bring uh phil phil ha basically has Leanna to himself so therefore he doesn't have to deal with her going off and finding someone else because yeah. she can't do that and it's advantageous to him but also disadvantageous because i can't get any goddamn underwear time <laughs> They're bringing out the worst in each other, though. It, they kind of validate each other's ability to just sit at home, to just only interact with one another, to to barely see their families. I don't know. Sorry, that it's getting a bit too too much pathos in here. <laughs> but um, yeah. Well, ah, let's keep ah. it rolling then. Let's see what yeah, else sorry. we got here. Somebody shut me up. I. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, here's a fun one. If Phil had to start turning tricks for money, what kind of hooker will he be? What kind of pimp oh daddy God, will he no, have? No, Submitted no, by no, Anonymous. No. Wow. That's, Stop. That's Stop right years. there. Stop it. Somebody that's in the shaved gorillas might he pay for him. Um, well, uh, to, to, to quote, uh, to quote my lord and savior, Papa Franco, it's time to stop. <laughs> yeah, fucking rug burns. Oh fucking yeah! Rug. What the fuck was what? that? What? Yeah. Somebody's excited uh, about it. Literally, kill yourself. Me. What? Somebody's <laughs> scared of you. <laughs> okay then. I left my mic unmuted. I'm sorry. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. All right. Well, <clears throat> moving on. <laughs> no, that is fucked up. That I am not going to answer that question. <laughs> Don't I'm staying out of this. Oh, no. Could you imagine in, like, Midnight Cowboy style? Just, oh, no. That's a good movie, but, ugh. This is going to be a stripper name. Oh, yeah. The Italian <laughs> stallion. Um, that's what he'd hope for, anyway. How horrifying! That shitty dick. No, now I've got this. I don't need this in my head today. <laughs> that's terrifying. 
<laughs> Moving on. Thank you. <laughs> Terrible. Do we have okay. any? Uh, okay. Um. Let's see. I wanted to talk about the pimp in the halls and stuff. Come on. No. No. <sighs> fine. Pimp, talking oh, about the pimp in the hose would be didn't fine. Didn't say anything. Wouldn't. We can't even think of anything. He doesn't have the business management skills to be a pimp. Fine. So you know. Just <laughs> trying to move past that whip in the hose thing from earlier. Damn right. Moving on. <laughs> um. <laughs> all right. Let's see. So how about this one? <clears throat> so in the alternate universe where Phil and Alpha Omega Sin actually did have a charity boxing match. Who would win and how would it play out? Submitted by TD644. This goes without even saying. Alpha yeah. Omega Sin would fucking wreck Phil's ass before he even got to the ring. Uh, Phil, Phil would fold. knock out by myocardial infarction while he was walking down the gangplank to... Uh, <laughs> Are you saying it's no well, one's fired, Freddy? Just... I don't, I don't care what it is. So long as Phil gets wrecked. <laughs> okay. Phil wrecks himself, I... Huh? I've seen DSP tries it. <laughs> oh. yeah, DS, DS, DSP tries it, plus seeing out of a boxing match against Alpha Omega Sin. He's already done that. <laughs> Phil would crumple like a paper bag. He I don't know, out. man. He wouldn't, he, got, even, he, got, he wouldn't even be paper. He, it it he, would just be air. He played... He'd take a dive and cry, I think. He'd just <laughs> curl up and going sob to... into his knees. Anyway, go on, Ghost Dragon. He was bitching about his hand hurting playing two songs on a rock band <laughs> guitar for Christ's sakes. You go into fetal position the minute he fucking like goes for his punch. You're like, oh, don't hurt me. I have a business. <laughs> yeah, just bring some, dollhouse. Just bring yeah. some broccoli and he instantly lose. <laughs> the broccoli would be nice. It'd forfeit. <laughs> Leanna, bite him. <laughs> oh, oh, that's... oh god let's not go with that come on now stop oh. let's make a drone of that can we not oh. that's probably gonna take another fucking hour <laughs> oh. baby oh, I god. think that uh, yeah I, I don't think that would go very well for Phil uh I don't know much about uh, Alpha Omega Sin. He claims that he uh, frequents the gym and that he's been in a number of street fights and uh, was the victor of many of them, the majority of them, the lion's share of them. So I would have to go with Alpha Omega Sin if, if you hear Phil tell it. He's been piecing people up on the mean streets of Connecticut, uh, Connecticut for some, quite some time. So <laughs> Connecticut. He, he raged <laughs> Connecticut. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm writing that down, Connecticut. That's fantastic. Connecticut. He so. he 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 uh rage the mean streets of Connecticut. Yeah. Hashtag so, Connecticut. Yes. Alpha Phil Omega based... Sin knocks him out, Phil falls on him, and they both die. Bill is not saying I want to see that. Everyone but... died. Alpha yeah. Omega Sin's a pretty skinny guy, <laughs> so Phil really fell good. on him. Yeah. That didn't help at all. Phil is basically the fucking uh, Panthers <clears throat> from the Super Bowl. He don't get his ass whooped. <laughs> Phil's like Fat Munjumbu and Alpha's like Goku. <laughs> yeah. People keep saying, you know, Alpha Omega Sin, he's all skinny and shit, but it's them tiny skinny guys you got to watch out for. They're, they're spry. Yeah, what, spry. I, what I have... What I imagine is uh, Phil being on the other side of the gate and his gated community, and he's going... Hey, you get it, be down, get it, you fucking bitch. <laughs> Until Alpha Omega Sin starts to climb. Oh, and yeah. Pe oh, down. yeah, normal people can climb. Oh, yeah. fuck. <laughs> you bring a fucking gate with them and they're behind them. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait, then he'd just be like, we had a bite. Oh, wait. God damn it, she's not here. She's with Vash. Can we organize fuck. this through the WWE? I want Vince McMahon there. I want... I, I just... Oh, that'd be great. He yeah. knocked himself in his house and called us what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. Let's see what hey, we've got here. Uh, hey, Vince, what do you have to say about all this? Um, yeah, Vince. <laughs> well, um, 
Uh, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. If Phil is gonna, he's gonna come in my goddamn ring. He's either gonna have to do some steroids, or he's gonna have to gain about four hundred pounds. Um, <clears throat> we... Hey, Freddy boy, I'll help you with the juicing. I can't do an accent. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, let's see, what else have we got here? Do you think Phil would have more, less, or the same number of white knights if he was a girl? Submitted by Rap Clone. Probably. A billion times yes. more. It'd be yes. a lot more. Yes. I don't know. It's yes. depressing. Yes. Let me yes. tell you something, yes. ladies and gentlemen. We have a very thirsty community at times. I'm sure you can... When you think of thirst, you can think of certain people coming to mind, <clears throat> Moon Man. But <laughs> I will say this, ladies and gentlemen. If Phil were a woman, my goodness, would oh. there be some motherfucking white knights. Some dedicated white knights. I mean, Leanna has white knights. Now she's just intolerable, so mm -hmm. they lose their patience. But... Imagine if Phil were a woman doing this for as long as he's done it. He's be, he would be much more successful, much more beloved, get far more like like excuses given out and all different stuff. Um, you know, this would be a completely different ball game in my opinion. I could be wrong, but I just feel like it would be a completely different ball game. Girl on the internet is a real thing, ladies and gentlemen. Hi. <laughs> there you go. Physical proof. So. Here yeah, comes the thirst bags. It would be bad. <laughs> Sup, thirst squad? How you doing tonight? Thirst squad, ladies and gentlemen. I got a, I got a case of water for everyone here in case they need it. SOK water, SOK water 2.0, quenching the thirsts. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna need oh. uh, as, as much water as in the ocean to uh. Oh, this somebody thirst. had to do it. Damn it, my voice. People didn't know it was a girl. Uh, <laughs> oh. oh God. Damn it. No, I think that was more sarcastic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, no. Trust me. The amount of telemarketers that have addressed me as sir is is uh, depressing. No, look. Person X wants you to marry him. Let's <laughs> 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 do it. <laughs> Mm. Are you sure he wants to marry a skeleton? As long as you move me to Seattle. <laughs> Uh-oh, here comes the flattery. See, you shouldn't have said anything, Shadden, because the flattery is coming. Oh, that's nice. Um, all right, let's see. Let's move on. We've got a little bit of time here before we move on to the mystery Let's Endure. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, you guys might not remember, but we're doing a Let's Endure. Um, but we've, we've got a little bit of time. Moogle, how are you on time? Uh, we are, we are two hours and 20 minutes in, but that's just from the pre-stream alone. So roughly we're... Hour and 50 minutes. It's 8.50, uh, Eastern. Yeah. So right. it's, it's 1.50. Cool. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, we got some gaming and miscellaneous topics. Those are always fun. So let's finish up any sort of fill topics. Um, we usually don't do this, but... Uh, is there anything you guys had in mind for Phil topics that we might not have gotten to? Anything that we might have missed? Anything that I might have missed in the doc? Uh, anything in general with Phil um, that you uh, think should be discussed? Street Fighter Five. Street Fighter Five. Get the ball yes. started for us. Because uh, I didn't, I didn't watch it, so I can't. He's gotten really boring. <laughs> that, that's what I'm taking away from this. At least with Mortal Kombat X, he raged and he. You know, Cerulean turned up. God, I love him. Um, not just because of the Quan Chi, but mostly because it's Quan Chi. <laughs> uh, <Of course. laughs> but um, he's been. Have it, is it just me that's noticing this? He seems more quiet, and just he just shuts up and plays the match, and that's it. And then he uploads every single bloody video separately. Oh well, yeah, of course, you know that. Oh, we that, do that, that, but that's the thing. Phil Borg at Street Fighter? I didn't think that was possible, man. This I, is actually, a did I? <laughs> I actually watch other people covering fucking Street Fighter 5 rather than Phil. So. But he does have the most in-depth, comprehensive review on possibly oh, yes. the entire <laughs> internet. Oh, you mean uh, that bitch fit that he go goes on? Yeah, yeah. Uh, quickly check his views for Street Fighter 5 while I'm at it. 
<clears throat> Let me see here. How 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 has Street Fighter V been doing? Some of these videos are in the thousands. And these are from oh my god, I'm seeing some that haven't even broke the thousand. They're like from five days ago. Holy fuck, man. Uh, so it. the views are pretty shit in Street Fighter V. His views are shit in general, though. I understand that, around, but like, you see, he's views? he's he's kind of known for the the fighting games more so, and to see shit views there, it, it's it's kind of sending a bit of a message. If yeah, you know what I mean, that uh, uh, you know. He, well, he did say that fucking Fallout Four was gonna save his channel. Look what happened to that. Yeah, that, that, that he he said the yeah. same thing about MGS Five too, but uh, yeah, <clears throat> that didn't do anything. She's speaking of Street Fighter Five. Does anybody believe his story of um he was eight, and he was bodying people no. in the the arcade? No. 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 Yeah. Buddy. Right. <clears throat> why, Phil? Just why? No, but. Maybe, Why? maybe, maybe, ca maybe casuals that didn't play at all, but people that knew what they were doing, no. He, he stood no chance. I can remember a story he told once. It's maybe fake. Maybe me being crazy, because, you know, that's not... You mean, like, every story he fucking talks yes. about? <laughs> but like, out of his ass. But, like, yeah. I remember him saying that he didn't start playing Street Fighter until, like, he was in his teens, so... Yes. So, yes, I remember that... I have vague memories of the same thing. Like I've I've heard people fucking talk out of their goddamn ass before, but Phil, he he's a fine example of that shit. He makes oh, yeah. it so damn obvious. Phil is just Ace Ventura with himself bent over. You know that bit where he grabs his butt cheeks and makes it talk. That's pretty <laughs> much Phil. Yeah, he's a little talking out of his ass. <laughs> yeah. Um, I remember from the story though, if you go by that. Phil, when he was in his teens, went to the arcade, and they were betting money on Street Fighter, which is how he got into Street Fighter, as he so says. Yes, that's right. He's Instead fueled this, by greed. Yeah. Except he doesn't have the glorious butt of Ultra Greed. I don't know, man. Oh, yes. Ultra Greed. Oh, Ultra Greed. I just can't wait for fucking Street Fighter Five to actually have some content in it before I actually pay sixty dollars for it. So I would like. Oh, to look, you're something. not wrong about that. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like a lot of people are saying, "Oh, wait till later to get it," which is fine. I mean, it's not like I can't really say the game is bad myself because obviously I don't have my PS4 yet. I don't have the game yet. But if I wait later on, then I think the game will be a lot better rather than in its current state what it is now, and I, and I do agree with a lot of people saying that the game should have came out a lot later than rather than now. So, Did you know uh, that game was originally supposed to come out um, in 2017? Yep. That's why it has so oh. much less of content? I, I feel like it, the reason it came out so early is because of Evo. That, oh, that, that, exactly. that's, that's entirely the reason. Welcome yeah. to early AAA access. Where you buy into a game a year before it's fucking finished. It's 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 basically the uh, after beta stage. My God, I actually noticed that now. I think it, all the AAA games now are becoming early access. I was about to say, why is why does that sound so plausible? Like, uh, I'm I'm starting to notice that too, actually. Yeah. With with games becoming early access now, like even in AAA releases. It's, um, oh, that's depressing. Player. Yeah. I mean, like, uh, like I said, though. I mean, you, a word of advice for anybody that's planning to get Street Fighter Five or, um, like, wants to get it, just wait a few months. Trust me, it will get a little bit cheaper, and it'll have a lot more content on it with a lot more characters and stuff too. It's just not in a good state. Right now. Yeah, they always end up releasing like a full version at some point, like a complete version. I. Well, all the content in the game is free, so I wouldn't see why they would ha have to re-release re a game like that. Uh, I mean, it's kind of stupid. And they, uh, I think they've already clearly stated that all the content that's coming out for the game is free. So you just have to earn in-game money for it and buy the characters that way. But yeah, uh, as far as Phil goes, <laughs> literally his entire review is a bitch fest. So... Oh yeah, that's right. He did do that review of Street Fighter Five, and that 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 was just unmemorable and boring. You know, much much like uh, his entire playthrough. What did he give it? I don't even. I 
I didn't even watch it. That's how unmemorable it was. I'm sorry. Actually, I think I watched it and I've got no idea what I saw. That's how <laughs> not memorable it was. It reminds me a bit of um, when I saw people trying to review Kinect games way back, way back when Kinect was still quite new. You'd find reviewers saying, I'd love to review this game, but the hardware doesn't bloody work, so how can I? And Street Fighter suffers, like, the actual mechanics of it probably are fine, but between the servers and the bare bones of it, it's probably very difficult to give. Well, I, I wouldn't be able to take it on review wise. Yeah, and this is the first time I've seen a AAA game that actually works on release on PC. That's true. Surprisingly. That's true. Because lately, games haven't been uh, doing so well on PC, which is really unfortunate because uh, I had plans of getting certain games, and uh, I pretty much held on to my wallet. I was like, nope, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm glad that I uh, made uh, changed my mind last second. Shit, I'm grateful that Sony funded the game, but fuck, can Capcom give us a complete game? Holy shit. Well... This, this is pretty much the Star Wars Battlefront. The game started off with less content. We gotta wait the next couple of months until the game's, like, fully completed. Yeah. I don't think Capcom has very good direction with where they want to go or how to get there right now. They seem like they're very lost... Yeah, I feel like maybe they weren't specific enough when they said that, like... Because I'm pretty sure when they said that they were going to add extra characters in, that's fine, but I don't think they've... I, I'm Correct me if I'm wrong on this, but I don't think they ever said, oh, we're not going to have a story mode or anything in it. Or I think maybe they did acknowledge that there was going to be, like, uh, a really, really short story mode, but not a full story mode. Um, but it was never really specific. So I mean I couldn't really I, I couldn't really tell you. Um, all that I know is that it's kind of shitty that the game is released in a very bare bones thing. I mean it's like buying a model airplane without the wings. <laughs> you have to wait three months for the wings to. Do. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you enjoy your other pieces while you can. Yeah. I guess though, I would imagine at Capcom at the moment it's almost like, well we're not we're not doing as great in the public eye as we could, but at least we're not Konami. Fuck Anything Konami. Looks good. Exactly. Sorry. Anything yeah. looks good next to Konami. Actually, they kind of are after they got rid of Mega Man. Ooh. Uh, they're, no. not held, they're not held in the same... Uh, in my opinion, Mega Man as a series is kind of dead. Once you get past the 20 game mark, you can stop. It's alive in our hearts. Um, no. Yeah, but look, yeah. they're trying to make a spiritual successor to it, and it uh, fucking honestly, sucks. Honestly, yeah. no offense to the fans <laughs> or anything, I don't think we need another Mega Man game. Yeah. Just, just saying. Maybe, it's maybe like, more like I don't know, some remakes and stuff would be cool and all. But all in all, I don't think we need another Mega Man. People game. are always like, complaining about unnecessary sequels. Things yeah. like that, things like Sonic, the really crappy Silent Hills. You know that bit in The Simpsons where Homer is pretending to be crusty and he beats up on a guy that looks like the Hamburglar and there's a kid in the front going, Stop! He's already dead! That's pretty much how I feel about most of these franchises. Can yeah. we not just respect their memories? Who's, who's ready for Mighty Number no. 9 to get delayed again? Oh! Yeah. I was about to bring that yeah. up too. <laughs> yeah. Mighty Number no. 9 is trash, by the way. I played the beta, it's not fun. I've never played it. It's so boring. It's, it's so unfortunate because when, when the, the game actually the releases, it, it's so unfortunate because when the game actually releases, the game's like everybody's it's just it's, it's gonna be shit. Like everyone's not gonna care. Pascal, when did the beta come out? It's like over a year ago. Yeah, it was like the demo was like a year ago, dude. Like Where's how is it know? taking? It's this probably long? I'm gonna say it's probably better now if it was a year no. ago. No, it's, 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 it's the base gameplay that's boring. Not not that like the. Uh, actual game. I'm not saying it was the level that was badly designed. It's just the base game is boring. Yeah. yeah. It's slow moving. It's not much fun for what it looks like it could be. And it's just... Yeah. yeah I, and though, I wanted Mega Man Legends 3, damn it. Oh, well. Yeah. Is this a door starting? Move on to uh, other series. Make new IPs! Haha, <laughs> that's funny. What? Are you saying that people aren't allowed to uh, 
cash in on their old IPs just because people want to see more? Well, I'm, not saying that. I'm just saying, make new games. <clears throat> you guys exactly. remember, remember Lost Planet? What? Yeah. Remember Lost Planet? That game was okay. Wait, three? No, I, I heard it was. I heard it was not that great. I said the just like the series. The first one was. Oh great. yeah, yeah, the series itself. The first one was good. Yeah, the story the was good. Gameplay was good. I think the second, the second one's one story was shit. The gameplay was awesome. Yeah, but the third one was like the third one. Exist? The gameplay. The third one. The gameplay was shit, but the story was fantastic. Uh, I just think I, I personally think why does it exist? <laughs> I, I don't. I don't think there really like needs to be one. another one. It wasn't the best game, but it was. Fun. It was a good story. <laughs> but just do stuff like that. Make new things. We're interested in buying new games. What he said. Well, now, you, you want Resident Evil 4 for the Ed, 100th time. Fuck, fuck. <laughs> Edmund McMillan. Yeah, who doesn't? Uh, <laughs> well, here, let's just, let's just yell at Edmund McMillan. Stop re-releasing The Binding of Isaac. We don't, I don't need know it. about you guys, but... Uh, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, Pask. It was oh, a one-time thing! On, yeah, I, I don't know about you guys, but Resident Evil 4 originally was supposed to be a GameCube exclusive. Whatever happened to that? Oh, money. <laughs> Sold like dog shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, though, What's... we want new things like Five Nights at Freddy's being an RPG. I, uh, I okay, still... not, okay, not even I wanted that. Dude, yeah, I, I, still, I still have my copy of Resident Evil 4 on GameCube when I put my head in shame every time I see it. Why? It's just like... It's just... It, like, it's right there. The label, the purple label says... Only on GameCube. Yeah, I have that shit too. It's it's like it, it disappoints me. We didn't I get fucking love that unit and here. it's like everything. So. Oh, that's that sucks, shout and you didn't get the best system. We didn't get the GameCube. Australia was really weird to pick up technology. Like, like they just didn't adopt certain technological advances until the rest of the world had. <laughs> We have the worst internet on the planet. We, um, what you call cell phones, we call them mobiles. We didn't get those till about three, four years after they were popular everywhere else. Just wasn't a thing we did. Hmm. Yeah. You guys usually we missed out on a lot. You guys usually just attached a note to a boomerang and threw it off, right? I was about <laughs> to say we just chucked it on the back of a koala. <laughs> you didn't use the kangaroo. Them. Oh no, that's for, that was for that was for intercontinental travel for the longest time. Intercontinental. Yeah, yeah. Yep. You shove yourself yeah. in the pouch and you just let it run. That kangaroo was the intercontinental champion. <laughs> it was against me, that bastard. You had carrier you kangaroo. Smack me Those motherfuckers could hop across water. You don't fucking know. Uh, let's that? see what else we got here. I uh, I got one thing that I would want to bring up, Phil Wise. Go ahead. Okay, it's a post that I actually found um, on a forum, and it has to do with uh, Phil talking about Rooster Teeth's movie Laser Team. And um, I linked to the po to the image right there in the chat. Oh, but basically, the Phil goes on and says that that it's basically Project Seven with a huge budget and a ridiculous <laughs> amount of backing. Yep. Which is ridiculous because we remember how Project 7 is, so. <laughs> the worst thing. He doesn't seem to that know. That is the, the worst fucking comparison to make. He doesn't know this movie was crowdfunded, does he? Uh, nope. He even says, yeah, like, oh, I was at the theater and everyone groaned when we saw the trailer. The venom and jealousy dripping out of that post is, is enough that it's dripping out of my monitor right now. It's. He was so just uh, other people's success. Yeah, he, uh, he definitely wanted that uh, project seven to be crowdfunded, but uh, you know, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't, I don't think anyone w would have it actually. Was. Sorry, went, but quite frankly, that. it was. Well, it was crowdfunded. Well, I, they just called it off. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I'm, I'm talking about the original project seven. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, but mm -hmm. uh, well, yeah, he did uh. Ask people for money for its uh, reboot, but that that well, we all know how that ended. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Old art to pay respects. All right, let's see what else we got here. Um, let's see. 
Phil has been sounding beyond bored in his recent playthroughs. Which of his playthroughs do you think he sounded the most bored? Submitted by Rap Clone. Probably Primal. Five Nights at Freddy's. Jack 2. The Street Fighter matches where he doesn't even open his mouth. Ah. Uh, I, I was thinking of his uh, recent playthroughs because in Far Cry Primal, he just sounds like so fucking bored. Well, yeah, if if we're going with uh, recent, then I would think something like Far Cry Primal. However, all, all, if we're talking about no matter what what time, I, I would actually, yeah, say Five Nights at Freddy's because half of, half of the thing was just him looking into the chat. He didn't even do anything. That and only because he got, he was only on like night two and, you know, kind of died there. Yeah, uh, it's just <clears> like, um, I don't know, like his, uh, someone said Jack too, and uh, I can, I, I, I agree and I disagree because um, at, at some points, really, he just bitches a lot. Like he, I think most of the playthrough, that's all he's been doing. But there are some instances where he does, uh, where he does fucking sound extreme, like he sounds completely out of it. Like, he just does not want to play the game anymore. But it's funny because he always says, Fuck this! But so continues to play the game anyway. <laughs> I think it was his... Um... Sorry if I interrupted there. I think That's I fine. first noticed it on his... Oh, my God. Words. Crash Bandicoot playthrough. Yeah, he doesn't often... Do I, Facebook, I, 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 did... was, I was about to say that, too. Ah, he nice. was incredibly bored with that as well. The disconnect between what he was saying and his face... He was just morose looking, and you could oh, see yeah, him trying to do his stupid. He, like he was, <laughs> he, he he looked incredibly depressed whenever he yeah. was playing the game, as if he didn't yep. want to play it, but had to That's, because patrons. Yes, yeah, exactly. He was about to burst into tears. It was really strange because he was still then doing some of his you know stupid noises that he that seal laugh thing that drives me insane. Oof. But you just see his face. There's no, you know how when people smile genuinely, they smile with their eyes. And if someone's bunging it on, sorry, that's an Australian saying, uh, you'll see it that their eyes aren't smiling with the rest of them. That was kind of the impression I got whenever, since then, whenever I've seen Phil on a face cam. He's not happy. Uh, someone said Just Cause 3, which is kind of funny because he also quit uh, Just Cause 2 for the same reason. And um, uh, I don't honestly, yeah, I don't honestly know how you can get bored of that game. Uh, it, it seems really fucking weird to me. Um, probably because he doesn't understand it. Because I mean, let's be honest here. I've watched the playthrough myself a little bit, and he has no fucking idea what he's doing. And Just Cause Two literally states that you're supposed to blow shit up. <laughs> <laughs> And he doesn't com com like understand that concept at all. Even in Just Cause Three, you do the same thing. Like it's just a big sandbox game. Like you just fuck around in it. He doesn't understand that though. He doesn't want to have fun. He's like an anti-fun. Mm. I re I remember that he claimed that you know everybody everybody. Oh man, what was the name of that game? That game about the rapture. Everybody goes to the rapture. Oh yeah, that. gone. Oh, he claimed that was boring. Well, yeah, that, I, I guess you can... That, that game was... It's one of those games where it's more so you have to play it rather than you watch someone play it. Because you have to if, experience if you're, it. Yeah. yeah. You, you can't exactly watch someone play that game. It's incredibly boring to do that. And even if you're playing it, I can understand how it, it can be boring because, I mean, you're just walking around uh, an empty city and stuff yeah I, I i can understand how that game can get boring it it seemed like a weird choice for him specifically as well you know well i mean well, i mean there wasn't really anything that he could go off of or you know like make fun of or have any of his witty commentary off of mm. didn't stop him in silent hill too <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I was going to say, not really, though, because Phil loves the walking simulators. Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, games like Heavy Rain, those those, those games will net him the most. Or Until Dawn. Yeah. Oh, you mean games that play themselves? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Thanks, Ocean. 
Oh yeah, he did get real <clears throat> bored at PT as well. I remember that. Oh yeah, he, he he got, got so bored of it. He shit on he the people was, who made it. Yeah, he was ready to hate um, PT before he started because of Hideo Kojima. That was when he was still in his fuck Kojima phase, and um, <laughs> he hated that game before he turned the fucking system on. Like he was not going to give it a go. All right. You know. Let's move on. Uh, let's look at some gaming stuff. Let's look at some miscellaneous stuff, and then we'll switch over for the Lost Endure. Oh, look, AJ's here. AJ, how long have you been here? Like 10 minutes. AJ. It's Evil AJ, ladies and gentlemen. Yay! Oh, look, it's Gay J. <laughs> let's see. Sure. Uh, what are you guys' thoughts on Resident Evil 4, 5, and 6 coming to the PS4 and Xbox One, submitted by Cyber Iceblood? Okay, um... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I actually, I don't think anybody really asked for this, but I personally think it's cool that they're doing that. Cause, I was pretty shocked about that. Yeah, I, I think that's kind of neat though, because like, I, I really want to play five again, um, with mercenaries and stuff, like all the extra stuff. But I don't have all the DLC because I never bought the gold edition. Um, and from what I heard, all the DLC from all the games, uh, from six and five, are actually going to be in with the uh, remasters. Um, if I'm correct on that, I'm pretty damn sure they said that. I can't wait to play those games again, uh, especially five and six. And uh, you guys are gonna kill me for this, but I do actually like six a lot. But it's for the gameplay itself, not the story. I actually what? really do enjoy the game itself. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll like back six. you up on that. Yeah, six was six better is than I thought it was gonna be. Co -op. Yeah, I liked five, yeah, and everybody, you know, shits on that game. And I also liked other M as well. So, yeah, yeah. there you go. Odd shit. You liked Other M too? I I kind of liked it. Yeah, same here. I, I well, liked it too. I looked past the story and I actually really enjoyed the fucking gameplay of it. What I want to know is, um, why should I get it on the PS4? Like, is it gonna run at 60 frames per second? They et cetera, you know? it's, yeah, it's been confirmed to run it. All right, money sold in. They can have my money. <laughs> Just, Best paycheck. Yeah. That's what I, that was. That's what, that, that was one of the things that I wanted to know. Like, why should I get it on the PS4? And there you go. Yeah, that's I'm, that's my. I'm not uh, I'm not surprised that Capcom was going to do this because they did state it. Um, I think last year that they were going to put out more remastered. So, I'm just hoping they bring back Onimusha to PS4. I'm still, I pers oh, I'm still I waiting. personally think it would be awesome if they brought Revelations as well on PS4. That would be cool. Could do that. Because, well, Revelations 2 is on there. I mean, it'd be cool if they brought uh, that game on PS4 as well. Um, but after that, I mean, I'm, I'm just happy to freaking be able to play 5 and 6 again. If you think about I, it, though, all of the Resident Evil games pretty much is on the PS3, if you think about that, which I think is pretty damn awesome. Yeah, that's true. It's just always, it's just for convenience, right? Like, uh, some, yeah. some people sold their PS3s and stuff. They want to play it on the newer consoles and that. So I don't really have a reason to bitch. At all. I think that's actually really cool. Likewise. Honestly, I don't mind buying those games again. Honestly, what I, I would like the Onimusha HD collection. That would be great. That's yeah. what I've been waiting for for like freaking six years now. What I'm confused about why they do is so backwards. You're going to get six first, then five, then four. Mm -hmm. What I'd really want is something like they did with Metal Gear Solid where they did the Metal Gear Solid Legacy Collection, but with Resident Evil. So you get, like, all the games in one package. That would be great. Didn't they did that in Japan a few years ago? They did that when 6 came out, I thought. Yeah. But it was only in Japan, I think, or something. I'm not sure. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I... I'm just like I'm. I'm excited. I mean, fucking Resident Evil Six on the PS4. I'm sold on that. I don't mind buying it again. I, I, don't, I don't see a reason to complain either. What I do? They released all that shit too many times. Hey, as long as they take the money and give me a good Devil May Cry Five, they can do whatever the fuck they want to do with Resident Evil. They already made Devil May Cry Five. Shut the fuck up. Nobody knows that, 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 that game. That game, that game does not exist. Oh, oh, wait, it's what? a good game. Not a good Devil May Cry game, but it's, it's a good it's, game. Okay, I'll give you that, but it is not Devil May Cry 5. 
that it's really a good. reboot. Yeah, it's just better than the original series. <laughs> no, it's, no, it's not. not. What are you talking about? Ass is itchy. Oh boy, here we go. Let me tell you why I'm right. Uh, gameplay, all the way. That's the only reason. Let me tell you why I'm it's, right. That's <laughs> what it steals oh, Dante Inferno's blue. gimmick. This, what are you this enemy's about? red. Use this attack. Yeah, yeah it's brilliant off gameplay. So many fucking fanboys with that. Yep. That's All the goal. The boys. It's a fun game, but it is not better than the original series. <laughs> I, st I still have yet to get through uh, DMC 2. and I'm going to play DMC 2 and 3. I just need Somebody's to find the time it. to get around to it. Two is yeah. easy as hell. Three... Ooh. Three, I know, is brutal. Great difficulty. It's hard as hell sometimes. Well, I, I mean, then it, well, I mean, I play Super Meat Boy for fun, so I guess I'm a shoe in for that sort of thing. <laughs> Tomo, uh, Tomo Kuroki? Uh, yeah, brought up a good point. They could stuff it up as badly as they did the Silent Hill HD collection, which is just a, a travesty. Well, that was Konami being lazy. Yeah, that was yeah. Konami's fault. That's true. Fuck yeah. Konami. There was a uh, lot here. It's <laughs> gone now. Just, uh, yeah, I heard about that. Like, didn't they j change the voice actors for Silent yep. Hill 2 and 3? They wrote a new script before they realized they couldn't on their budget. They were going to completely change the game. It was disgusting. It came out such a gross, broken mess. Anybody that enjoys those games, just... Play the originals. Oh, exactly. Konami in Invest general. Invest it appears <clears throat> Yeah. Emulate believe, a bitch. Don't believe Konami's lies. Yes. <laughs> don't believe Fizz's lies, either. Fuck that piece <laughs> of shit. That's because Fizz works for Konami. I knew, oh, I knew there was shit. something about him I didn't Ooh, like. Revealed. <laughs> revealed, damn. That's fancy <laughs> as fuck. That's way better than exposed. Revealed. I nearly went with exposed. That's what I'm going to have Pretty to good. Step. You just got revealed, bitch. <laughs> you just got revealed. Unveiled. Unveiled. Okay, revealed. Oh, God. <laughs> Is that going to be a new thing now? Uh, revealed. You just, got, you just got revealed, bitch. You just got unveiled. <laughs> um, all right, so that covers uh, Resident Evil 4, 5, and 6. So, we've got one from Matt the Tin Tan Man. So today I was booted... Uh, sorry, so today I booted up Max Payne 1 on PC and run, ran across a sound problem and had to download a program to fix it. That had me wondering, what game on Steam did you have a hell of a time trying to work properly and was it good afterwards against Minute by Matt the Tin Tan Man. <clears throat> I'll start because I had the same problem with Max Payne 1. You have to essentially run a program that's going to take the, I believe it's uncompressed audio or it's compressed audio. I need to be uh, reminded on that one. But essentially you're taking audio and you're either making it uncompressed or you're compressing it either or i think it's uncompressed but essentially um windows 7 doesn't read uh the audio files correctly so you have to download this program that you find on the forums you actually have to like hunt around to try to find it and uh then you're able to experience the game correctly like when i first booted it up there was no sound at all i was like Am I doing something wrong? Is there something? Okay, what, what's going on? And uh, finally, after downloading the program, getting that figured out, I was able to do Max Payne 1, but uh, that's really weird. Another thing with Max Payne 1, I don't know if it's just my computer, my setup, but this is very interesting. Um, I can't get recording software like OBS to work with Max Payne 1. No matter what program I use, the frame rate to Max Payne 1 on Steam shoots down to like 15. And it's not specifically because of recording software. It's something with, I don't know, the windowing of it. Because I, I ended up doing some streams of Max Payne 1 with Shadowplay, which streams it and records it. Um, with OBS, even if I'm not recording it, just by having OBS open... By having X split open, it just makes the frame rate for Max Payne 1 plummet. So I'm not sure what, what's up with that. I, I haven't figured out a workaround for that other than to just use Shadowplay. But uh, but yeah, that's that's my story on a Steam game that was a fucking nightmare. You guys ever have any problems with Steam games or maybe even just PC games broadly? That, it's, uh, it, it's actually kind of funny that uh, this question was brought up. Uh, earlier today, um, so... 
so F Fizz was slandering my ability to play platform games. So <laughs> I bo I, bo I booted up I booted up Super Meat Boy, which I haven't done in a lo in a in a while, mind you. And I noticed that the game's taking forever to get to the part where it just kind of shows you the intro. Like it's uh, frozen and stuff. So I, I, I try booting it up a couple of times and it, it, it does the same thing. So I, so, I go on, so I go and I just leave it for like five minutes or so and up comes this error that I've never seen before. It, it basically, it's basically like they remove the online portion of the game and I didn't know how to fix it. I tried uh, re-downloading it and stuff. I, I couldn't figure out how to fix it. However, the game worked just fine after like five minutes of just sitting there and waiting. So I'm honestly not sure what to think of that. But uh, I also found out today that I'm also pretty rusty at Super Meat Boy. So. Street Fighter Cross Tekken because Capcom's a bunch of fuckers and doesn't want to do anything with the games for Windows Live. Situation. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you think that's bad? Fucking Tales of Symphonia on PC. Batman Arkham Knight. Yeah, fuck I, Namco. I had a lot of problems getting Bioshock, the original Bioshock yeah, to run, too. Yeah, I did, too. I forget I what I had to do. I gave up on it after a certain point. There's a fix. It's actually fairly simple, but I just can't remember it off the top of my head right now to get it to work. And Darksiders, too, it took me a while to get it to work. Yeah, some of those games, they're kind of inexcusable issues. Like Battlefront. Battlefront 2 does not, like, if you try to start a game, if you have your, like, speakers plugged in a specific way, it crashes when you try to start around. Hmm. And the only, the only, like, fix for that is, like, plugging, like, headphones in a certain way at a certain time. It's really weird. Or just moment. launching it through a third-party software. Oh, yeah. Um... I remember uh, a really bad experience I had, and it's for the fact that the game doesn't work in general, because I don't know if it has something to do with the DRM on it, because this actually follows with uh, Pascal when he suggested me to get it. Remember Bulletstorm? Yeah! Yeah! Yes! Doesn't Bullet fucking Storm. work for me. Really? Oh. I, just, I just played Bulletstorm doesn't fucking like a month ago. Me. I started up the game, and for whatever reason, it kept crashing on me. I, e I even went as far as to put it in windowed mode. Even put it in other settings. Not a single fucking... Like, did you it, verify it, the game cache? Yeah, I did that too. Didn't work. Well, you Contact know, it's weird. Steam support? Because it's been a few months now. They might have been able to get back to you. No, I never did. I just left it like it is. <laughs> well, it's like... Uh, it's, it's, it, was like it was like three bucks. So it's not like a big deal. I paid for it. It's like... Uh, <laughs> Assassin's what? Creed 4. You didn't gift me it. I did gift you it. No, you didn't. I yes, bought it. I did. I'm pretty damn positive you uh, I, sure you I didn't bought. buy it for me. I'm pretty sure. Square up. Let's do ladies, it. Ladies, ladies, ladies. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, well, actually, it's more likely for me to square up with Pascal than Moogle. Yeah. You two can talk about your Valentine's Day gifts for each other some other time. All right? <laughs> this is not the time or place. Um, I know Fred wanted to say they're syncing up menstrual cycles, but... <laughs> There you go. Perfect. <laughs> Sorry. Um, let's see. So, anybody else? Problems with PC games? Steam games? Any other kind of stuff like that? I'm not part of the Master Race. You should be. Free C. I know. Free C Master Race. As long as we all can agree that the uh, keyboard and mouse is better for first-person shooters, I think we're done here. Oh, all right. Definitely. Uh, no. Uh oh. We, we Look what not, you've done now. We'll not agree on that, but uh, we'll move on because we don't have uh, enough time to scientifically prove why you're wrong. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> if you can talk about this supposed leak, Pokemon <clears throat> Sun and Moon. Thoughts on this? Any predictions if it's part of the main series or possibly spinoffs like Mystery Dungeon submitted by AP Dubtalia? Moogle, you're the uh, Nintendo connoisseur. Uh, I'm sure you're aware of this. Uh, yeah, but I don't really care for Pokemon all that much. Like <sighs> after, after, well, I'm not 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 saying that like, because uh, I've played X and Y. I it was okay. Uh, I don't know. I just don't really care about Pokemon all that much. So these leaks and stuff, I just I, I don't really care. I, I mean, I'm not. It's not a big deal to me. Um, <laughs> I see a lot of fucking memes of it and stuff. Like a lot of people making fun of the names and stuff. It, they're just trying to be original, um, which doesn't really surprise me at all. Uh, they ran out of colors, so 
but yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. As as far as things go, I, I don't know. I I guess it's cool that they're making more Pokemon games. Uh, like it is a one of Nintendo's most popular franchises to this day. So um, I, I think it's like the concept is neat. Um, if they're gonna introduce maybe another generation of Pokemon, that'd be pretty nice. I don't know. We'll see. You never know. There was no talk about it other than what the title of the games are and what the logos are. So that's all I know. Mm. We'll find out at I, Nintendo's fucking direct tomorrow, shall we? They're going to announce it tomorrow. Yep. I, and it's the twenty I, year uh, anniversary, so Correct. Well I got a I got a quick question. Do you think the NX will will help Nintendo console wise? Even though I know they're killing it in the handheld market, but will the <laughs> NX somehow um save them? With those just, uh with those controller designs and if they are true, no. I just hope to God it's not a fucking other gimmick. But I'm I'm really tired of the whole gimmicky bullshit. I just want to sit down with a goddamn controller in my hand and play Mario. That's literally what I want to do. And don't fucking tell me that I can play Super Mario three D World with the controller because I'm well aware of that. I'm I'm just talking about the tablet. The fucking I like the controls. tablet. Just just in general. Just in general. Motion controls and the tablet, like, I get it. The tablet's not that bad, but the gimmicks and stuff with it, that shit needs to stop. Mm. I'm with you, Muggle. That's what I, the old days, man. Go just saying. My favorite I, I, game, I really, aside from Silent Hill, yeah, Ghouls and I, Goblins, Ghouls and Ghosts, whichever one, unbelievably yeah. hard, but it was just don't die long enough. Yeah. You are like, a masochist. I've really, oh, those God, games yeah. are easy. I've really grown up. Says the one that does the big boss runs. Touche. <laughs> Yeah. No. <laughs> They're coming back there. All right. Anything else that... with Pokemon? Oh, go ahead, Kevin. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, first off, with regards to Pokemon, like, I did hear something uh, fascinating on Twitter earlier about Sun and Moon, and apparently, like, apparent the trailer music uh, apparently was ripping off the Flintstones theme, which is kind of weird. Same. Wait. Are you serious? No, yeah, because I, I actually listened to it myself because it, it was linked to a YouTube video of it. So I listened to it, and yeah, it's exactly the Flintstones theme, one for one. Uh oh. Yeah. But I was also going to say in regards to, like, we were talking about the Wii U and the and the gimmicks and stuff like that, and I wanted to say, shout it, like, if there's one uh, Survivor Horror Series that you should, that you would like. It's Fatal Frame, and I believe that on the Wii U with Fatal Frame 5, they actually used the tablet for the camera, and that's actually a pretty good gimmick for it. I haven't tried it, but that does sound like, okay, that's, that's one that works. You know, that's a gimmick that doesn't feel forced in there. Because yep. that's the problem with a lot of these games that sort of feel like, oh, we've got, especially Bloody Connect. Um, I know everyone knows it's a piece of crap. But it was more like, okay, we've got a game. Let's let's use some sort of gimmick just to get, like, to use it as a hook. And then it always ended up being crap because it, it the game wasn't designed around that. It was just, let's chuck that in there to, you know. Somebody stop me from talking, please. I've gone no. on. Oh, too. yeah. No, I, I remember. <laughs> I remember the <laughs> the DBZ Connect game is the proof of how bad the Connect is. Uh, what was that fighting game they had on the Connect? Uh, Fighter Within. That's it. That oh. thing was awful. Oh. I don't know. I I loved watching people actually playing that game because it's just oh. so funny how bad the physics Absolutely. are in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you on that. Watch it. Same with I, Tony Hawk. People say Tony Hawk Five horrible. No, no. That's some of the funniest. Yeah, Shit, that, that's like a funny kind of bad. But when you're yeah, talking about yeah, exactly. like bad in general, we're talking about games like Fighter Within, where if you punch someone, it l looks like an awkward fucking flail. Yes, it, it's it, just, so, it, it looks so weird when you watch the characters just like f awkwardly flail at each other and bitch slap each other. One of the best of those. It's only a quick one. It's it's when two best friends played it. It's, it's yeah, they had fun. like a little tournament in that. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, yeah, like it, it's just come to the point where Connect, like the whole gimmick. I'm so glad fucking Microsoft dropped that because that whole idea of Connect games was ridiculous. Mm. I I don't know why they even did it. 
is beyond me. And it almost seems like to me that VR now is becoming the next connect. I'm not, I'm not saying this, I'm not saying it to like bash on VR or anything. I just feel like VR has become this like, yeah, it's become this like big step up. They're like, Oh, you know, this is going to be the next thing for gaming. And that is just like, it's it's ridiculously expensive. And I don't know. It's, I feel like it's more of a luxury than it is an experience. Actually, I do have to disagree, though, because I feel that the Kinect it could was a good idea, at least for dancing. In, in concept. You want to talk about yeah, Dance true. Dance Revolution and stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah it, it's a good idea in concept with, 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 like, dancing games and stuff, but, like, actual games? No. Yeah. 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 And that's when you couldn't review a game properly because it was the hardware that was ruining the... You know, it was ruining everything. It's, um... How do you review a game that I can't make the hardware work with it? And yeah, I, yeah, just sort of on that thing of gimmicks, it, it's fine if, like you said, Karma, with um, like a dancing game because that's perfect. It's what it's made for. Um, but when other games are then made around these gimmicky products, and they just have to sort of just duct tape the gimmick onto the end, that's when you sort of get that really disingenuous feeling. Uh, like, believe me, I know, like, with Skyward Sword, where the whole gimmick of that was, you can move the sword with the Wii mode. It's like, I'd rather have a controller, thanks. Exactly. See, <laughs> see, um, people, like, I think the only reason that game was so flacked was because of the motion controls, but I kind of looked past that, and I didn't have too many issues with the motion controls. The only problem I had with it is that some of the things you had to do didn't work half the time. But yeah, like free falling. No, stabbing. Sometimes it doesn't even work at all for me. And I would be like right close to I wouldn't be like super close to my TV, but stabbing was kind of annoying to do. I don't know why. Um maybe because I'm like thrusting it too fast. I don't fucking know. It's beyond me. But the point is, it's not as bad as people say it is. Yeah, but that game is entirely too long to be played with motion controls. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it took me about a month to beat the game, so <laughs> it does, says something. I don't, I don't know but, what to tell you. But at least I with Fatal like Frame, I, but at least with Fatal Frame, I can get the gimmick though, because you're basically playing as a person who kills ghosts by use of a camera. So using the tablet as a camera is at least a pretty genius gimmick to me. Yeah, I that so. actually. What's funny is that like not not too long ago, I even thought to myself, what if they made a Fatal Frame for the Wii U? And that's exactly what I thought. And that's what they did, which is awesome. Yeah. I still need to play that game, but I heard it's not very good, which makes me Moon sad. Moonman's here. Hi, Moonman. Oh, look at this fucking <laughs> bitch. Get your ass in the call. But yeah. Get your uh, ass in here, you fucking fuck. and That's generally how it is. So moving right. on. Yeah, moving on. Um, let's see. Let's wrap this up. We've got uh, we've got our uh, fantastic Glitzender to get to. Let's uh, let's tackle some uh, some miscellaneous. Well, actually, you know what? There's one more thing. There's one more thing I want to uh, check into, and that is this. <sighs> Submitted by Urine. <laughs> I think that's all. <laughs> U R Y N urine urine urine. I'm gonna just say urine. All right. No offense if your name is urine. Uh, <laughs> urine. Uh, what That's do you think crazy. about what do you think about Hitman being an episodic release? Wait, what? Really? Yes. No. Let me please. Let me, that let me give my bad idea. Let me give my take here. No. Um, episodic content is not always good i think that um it's a way to sort of put out content quicker and then finish it up and then put it out when it's done and then finish it up so essentially it like uh it it get, it avoids uh a street fighter 5 type of situation where they rush a game out um you get what's finished when it's finished i guess you could say but for me i think it only really works for story based stuff. I don't think it's going to work for um, something like Hitman. Something like 
Walking Dead, um, these tail, these Telltale games, they, you know, they're good in terms of episodic content. But let's let's imagine here the Hitman ends up being episodic, and it ends up, you know, getting staggered out, getting delayed a lot. Um, I just don't see this. I just don't see this paying off. I think that it's going to be frustrating for the gamers to get their hands on the next one and they might lose interest. I I just don't I'm not a fan of episodic releases and I only make exceptions um for something like um a story based one, you know. Well, um <clears throat> I do think what they're doing is they're pretty much trying to milk the game because this is made by Square Enix, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, because they it seems like after they made games like uh, Life is Strange and they're trying to make Final Fantasy VII uh, episodic, they're just trying to find a way to milk the game for all it's worth. Episodic does not make a game make more money. Like, why the fuck are they doing this shit? I have no fucking Some idea. games it works for. I just don't see Hitman being one of those games that it would. Yeah, I mean games like uh the like the Telltale games like they're written to be yeah. episodic and and they work uh, because yeah. yeah I feel like I hate episodic games. I just think it's a shit way to spread out content just so you have more time to make a game. I mean I don't but mind like, if one company does it, but if like if everyone does it, that really does get like very annoying because even though I like the Telltale games, I get tired of waiting for them. I do. I just but, don't like Telltale games. Okay, that's you. But I'm just saying, like, I don't like waiting for them, but they are pretty good at times, so I, it is worth the wait, in my opinion. Now, here's where I disagree, because when it comes to episodic games that are plot-related, uh, I really didn't like that they did that with Resident Evil Revelations 2. But with Hitman, yeah, but with Hitman, it's like, I've played all the Hitman games, and the thing is that... There's, the plot is very loose. Like you don't get a whole lot of plot throughout Hitman, so it seems very episodic anyway. So I could buy it being episodic. I probably wouldn't even mind it being episodic. But depends I on get, the distance between yeah. the releases. But I just, I just know, like even if you look at Blood Money itself and everything, like the plot is so very thin and everything, you wouldn't even notice it between each assassination. So well, Blood Money is built very episodically. That's the issue. Yeah. Well, so was Contacts, and so was Hitman 2, and Hitman 1 as well. But, like, that doesn't make it a good thing to do. I just like, think I, it I beat a level on Hitman. I want to keep going. Like, I, I love that shit. Mm -hmm. I guess absolution, you can get out of my house. I guess, but for <laughs> me, like, hit, at Hitman, it works. It's kind of game that works with uh, episodic content. Probably if it's done right, then yeah. Especially if you can just uh, go back and try it like many different ways and everything, then it'll give you enough content till like the next uh, part comes out. I think that's probably the crux of it too. I mean, if if it's done right, then like you said, if there's content enough to tide you over, rather than the company going, how can we milk this further? Like, I think you can sort of feel the divide. Which games do the well? We'll give us some more time, and it'll give us more money if we make them episodic. Let alone. I mean, sorry, contrasted to games that go, it will work best story-wise if we do it episodically. I think that it's that Hitman being separated into episodic content is more a case of gameplay than it is story because I think it hurts more if you're splitting a game episodically because of story because, you know, that's going to that's gonna hurt, the, hurt the narrative. That's what yeah. I'm trying to say. But with Hitman, it's like, well, I'm going to ha have a huge open world. I'm going to have, like, over maybe 20, 30 different ways I can assassinate the person. I can try them all before the next release yeah. comes out. And also with Hitman, you don't want to get rusty, I guess, in between um, in between releases. Not, not in the slightest. You know, you want to keep barreling through. You want to... Yeah. Hitman's always been one of those games that you play through and you just get better and better throughout each level, yeah. like, and it like shows. And I think it it would be uh, mm, to sort of bottleneck it up and then go, oh yeah, I've got to remember all these controls again, <laughs> and that's when I turn into Phil, and that's when the world ends. All right. What's the next topic? 
Very oh, smooth. Why very do I keep smooth, doing that? Very smooth transitions we have here. <laughs> uh, all right, let's do one more topic, and uh, we'll switch over to the loss and dur. And uh, let's do this. So we've got. Thank you. What the fuck was that? Very good. Huh? He just muted himself. Right. <laughs> He's going all Darth Vader. Uh, all right, let's see. Um, these miscellaneous ones are brutal. Uh, Bring it on. All right, cool, fine. You know what, Fazzy? Fine. Uh, here's a okay. topic here. It says here, and this is not my words. Again, I, by reading this, all right, actually, I'm gonna say, he wants Fazzy to murder fuck his behind. He wants <laughs> Fred to put his gugada in my you know what. <laughs> what? I want I, that? I want Moogle to come down my mid lane. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna read this. Is ridiculous. What? I'm not gonna read Where this. Where is shit. the mid lane? No, what is a mid lane? Not reading Who, this. What? what? I don't even want to know. What's Sincerely, you know? Leanna. <laughs> oh. oh god. Oh. I didn't know she was into that shit. Well, I'll I'll work the video camera if you really want to make. This happened. I'm not gonna do nothing okay, of that no. shit. That's not this. gonna be done. None of this is happening. All right, we're getting out of here. I noticed you skipped the Fred X Cade Six fan fix. <laughs> you don't want the uh, people making Destiny fan fix about you. <laughs> we're too probably too late for that. No, I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> yeah, you better not. Fred's probably read them all already anyways. <laughs> probably. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is another Sons of Kojima podcast in the books. Uh, I don't know. Who wants to do the outros or whatever? And... <laughs> Kamasuba, where can we find you on? What have you been up to? Uh, play Resident Evil, uh, not Resident Evil, Assassin's Creed Rogue right now, and you can find me on Twitter as Kamasubu, YouTube is Kamasubu, I just post videos whenever I feel like it, I'm always around, just hit me up if you want to talk. Pascal. I'm Pascal, you can find me on YouTube at Pass4L, I don't do anything because I'm busy with college, you can find me on Twitter at GhostDragon1182. <laughs> GhostDragon1182. Uh, you can find me on Twitter and YouTube at GhostDragon1182, and that's what about it. What a coincidence. It. Wait a minute. What's going on here? <laughs> you guys sharing the same Twitter? You guys co-Twittering together? Yeah. <gasps> Joint custody? I knew it. Mr. Nomad. Uh, you can find me in, at the Dark Lurker on Twitter, and you can find me in Vault City and Fallout 2, robbing everything in sight. Mr. Freddy Fastfuck. You can find me on Twitter at TTSBB1. You can find my YouTube, which is Freddy Fast Fuck. And you can find me on Twitch every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. On, uh, I'll, I'll be doing a uh, Ratchet and Clank stuff at TTSBB1. Mr. Nomad. You already said Nomad. Oh, you already said Nomad. Oh, we already did Nomad? Get your yes. shit together, Freddy. I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah, all right. Mr. Oh, yeah. Leo oh. King. No oh, shit, I thought I, was, I thought I was muted. I almost farted. Shit, you can find me at Leo what King. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I almost farted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would have been yeah. pretty good too. <laughs> He's fucking on it. Man, that needs with that toilet flush. Quoted. That's getting quoted. <laughs> Leo King, say stuff. Uh, you can find me at on Twitter at Leo King. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Still want to catch him farting? Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Torres. You can find me at at Badass Oz 100. And you can go to my YouTube channel, The Superior Artist 10,000, for animated videos. And sometimes skinny videos. Did Good you night. just go all Joker on us? 
Maybe. I don't, I don't know what the fuck that was. All right, that's, that's fine. Unlike Take Andy. that L. That's fine. <laughs> Miss Shadden. Oh, yes. You can find me at Twitter at um, Fraulane Shadden. I have to put it the other way around because some other bitch took my name. Fucking cunt. Um, what a, what a fucking I know, bitch. right? Let's track her down. Square down with her. Um, oh, square down. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. But uh, otherwise, yeah, I'm just hanging out there. And this has been so much fun. <laughs> Sorry if I'm a bit of an amateur, but um, I'm learning. It probably was Che Person X. <laughs> what was that? Well, I was talking to Person X. Ah. <laughs> Mr. Evil AJ. <laughs> uh, you can find me on Planet Bullshit, and yeah, that's pretty much good. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm coming to that planet, by the way. Cool. The stream yes, extraordinary, uh, Mr. Damn you, Leo King. <laughs> <laughs> Go mute yourself and fart already. Damn. <laughs> what were you going to say, friend? The stream extraordinary, Mr. Bagel. You can get the fuck out of my lane for starters. Mm -hmm. But no, um, you can find me on YouTube under Moogle Master 102. You can find me on Twitch under Moogle Master 102. And you can find me on Twitter under Moogle Senpai. And. Yours truly, you can find me on Twitter at T I H Y D P, the acronym for this is how you don't pronounce Shadden Freilin. You can also find me on YouTube. You just type in Fred Fox, it'll be two accounts, one with the animated avatar made by Taurus. Huh? That's pretty nifty. Another one that's not so animated that was produced by some photographer. I don't know, whatever. Um,. There's content on those, especially the animated Avatar one, where you can find such things like DSP Sings It, a grueling, an endure for your own. If you want to do your own Let's Endure, I dare you to get through that. I have a, a pro tip. Have um, strong painkillers nearby. Have it a stiff drink. Something. Yeah, yeah. Some do what you need to do. Try your best to get through it. I challenge you. <laughs> if you get through it, let us know. Um, what else? Uh, so you can also find me on hitbox.tv slash Sons of Kojima right here with all these great people. All right? You can find hey, me. And not Pascal. You can find us here. And if you are on YouTube and you want to watch this live stream every Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can go there, hitbox.tv slash Sons of Kojima. If you're on the live stream and for some reason you want to watch this whole thing again, you can go to YouTube, Sons of Kojima. Just type in Sons of Kojima, type in SoCast, type in... Don't type in SOK because there's a bunch of like weird shit that comes up when you type in SOK. Like, Sorry. I don't know, some Asian stuff. I guess it's like something. Um, so yeah, type in Sons of Kojima or SoCast or something like that and you can find all our cool stuff. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen... Thank you for 70 episodes. I feel like we're reaching milestones every fucking episode. Yes, uh, last last week was episode 69, which is you know special, oh, near yeah. and dear, near and dear to my mm. heart. Um, special to everyone. <laughs> but uh, I want to thank you guys for uh, you know having the time the the will to come watch us wherever you are. If you're on YouTube, thank you very much. We always appreciate you. If you're over here rocking with us in the chat and stuff like that, always a good time. And that's about it. Thank you guys very much. We love you. Go fuck yourselves. Good night. A siege will ring true. Damn, Daniel! Ooh! <laughs> it did it! Oh, it did it! it, did, it. it did. did that make it on stream? Yes, it did. All right. Yes. Awesome.